Welcome back to 10 Cents Podcast. My name is Michael with Adam and Robbie. We're in the Kanga Motorsports studio again this week. Do you have the magazine cover pulled up by chance? I'm yeah. asking you. I just asked you if you were ready, and then I didn't. Are you ready? You. I didn't ask hey, you. Hey, by the way, Robbie. To have the magazine cover ready. So James, Robbie got in James a magazine. Sent it to I did. Me. Yeah, I saved it. Robbie got in a magazine with his photos of Grid I Life. I was in a magazine. You were in a magazine. Well, not, not now, you. Your name was. Yeah. Photo credits. Yeah, and then here we are on another magazine. The Wheel, an SCCA magazine. It's uh, for the San Francisco region. I was like, damn, your region has it together, They James. really, really have a damn do. magazine. Yeah. And James is on the cover. I know. We're on the cover. And then front and center, it says 1010's podcast. Right oh. smack in the middle of the cover Man. of the magazine. Look at that. See, Look at that. When you partner with us, you Look, get on magazines. O'Reilly's, Toyota, 1010's podcast. Same level, <laughs> same budget, similar budget. Yep. Same kind of, yeah. This is what success feels like. Goes. Do you think we... He's got like multiple copies of that. I'm uh, sure we could get a copy. Someone sent someone sent me one of he's, those. He's a like a I'll pay shipping. A ranking member of that region. Yeah, I'm we sure should, we, we should get, get we, a we should magazine. get three copies of James. Those. I want to find us some copies. Let's frame one and hang it on yeah, the let's tent, do it. or yeah, on the yeah, King of Motorsports wall. Let's turn that into a poster if if not if anything. If we if I bet we can get a magazine, a digital copy. Yeah. We should definitely get a poster. Yeah. Why not? That'd be cool. So anyway, thank you James for uh doing that. He had a rough weekend. He yeah, did. He had, it's amazing. Uh, had an off. It's amazing what you can. Well, he oh, didn't no. have an off. Oh, he didn't have an off. No. No, he had. He a, had a close encounter of the oh. third kind. Oh, okay. Aliens attacked his car. I got it. <laughs> the other car had. Got oh, look, dude, it he came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, he comes around the corner. The other car is completely spun, and he has nowhere else to go. So we're watching. No, it's just, it just Ooh, happened. Bam, Ooh, man, that is. car did come out of nowhere. Yeah. That car got messed up. James has got messed up. Yeah. It was a rough deal. He put it back together again. He did. Pulled an all-nighter, it looked like. He was telling me, like, if that was a unibody car, it'd be done. For sure. Like, it's a good thing that it was just kind yeah, of designed man, I, specifically guy, for this. Yeah, I want to watch it one more time. That guy just really, you just can't see him at all. No. Yeah, you can see crazy. him spin right Because I'm sure he was watching the car in front of him because that guy got a little squirrely. So I'm sure he was watching that guy to make sure he wasn't going to spin out. Yeah, he's like, fine. watch, he, he goes over that curb there, gets a little sideways, boom, another car comes right out. Right in the work. racing line. Yep. So... Glad he's okay, too. Yep. It was a decent hit. I'll make sure to share the video on our Facebook page so you guys can find it. Or you can just follow Kanga Motorsports on Facebook and Which is what watch you it there. Do anyway. you yeah, look at that. that as well. a fair amount of damage in the front. I think he said he's got to get a new nose cone. Yeah, because yeah. that other one was pretty jacked. Yeah. It's held together with a lot of tape, it looks like. A lot like. of duct tape and zip ties. Yep. It's a good thing he listens to a drift podcast. It he is. Those, he knew what to do. Those, yeah, uh, stitches. Zip tie Drill stitches the holes, for sure. Put yeah. the zip tie through. Yeah, absolutely. So I think he's going to work on that. But priorities. The Ten Tens podcast logo didn't get damaged, so we're good. Right. I think that's put a sign. Yeah. If you just covered your car in Ten Tens podcast logos, you'd be It'd safe be from all things. Yeah. No damage there. I think it's the opposite of the Jalopnik effect. I think you go slower. With the Jalopnik effect? No, I think... Well, Jalopnik claims that their sticker makes things go faster. I don't think that's true. I, I think don't they think crash. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like there. When you have to make 15 articles a day, you kind of got to grasp at straws. That's fair. So it's all about quantity. <laughs> quantity yes. over quality. <laughs> My life is <laughs> all about quantity over quality. 100. percent We were. I was in Sea City this weekend. We were driving by the mall, and somebody was selling ribeyes, 20 for 25 dollars. Ooh. And my dad's like, I think I'd rather have a twenty-five dollar ribeye than twenty just one ribeyes Wait. for twenty-five dollars. So these were, wh- what was this place? It was like a homeless shelter. Or it was, was like literally a tent Trump set States. up. <laughs> it was literally a tent set up in the mall parking lot. Those are horse steaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a valid question. Is it a horse steak? I'm the not, second question. I'm not going to make any that I have is uh, who buys. 25. Their meat from a tent in a mall parking lot. Well, I told my dad that like, if you take twenty of those ribeyes and you eat them all at once, you probably have a roughly equivalent quality. Like, you know, there's I'm sure there's individual pieces inside of each one of those pieces of meat that wasn't bad. I'm sure a couple of bites here and <laughs> you there. Know, collectively have one good. Rib collectively eye. have one twenty five dollar ribeye. So and really, it's it's a wash. It's the same money. <laughs> is what you're saying? Yeah. I see that. So what happens when you get? Food poisoning and Ebola from that experience. <coughs> Bad I don't, cow. You, you don't even know who to go after. I think you are sweating. Small you just write. Oh, okay. 
It's it's a it's a when you, it's a numbers game. Yeah, when you're a quantity guy when it comes to your meat, you just take what you can get. It's a numbers game. You okay. just you roll the dice. It's a different lifestyle with food. Yeah. If you eat everything, eventually you'll eat something that not, won't try not. to kill you. Did yeah. they did they advertise it as grass fed? I don't think they advertised <laughs> it at all, Robbie. I think they just said here's twenty steaks they for say twenty five dollars. Did they say it was a free range cow? It was free range organic beef. <laughs> Vegans. It didn't say anything. It's a vegan it's a cow. Vegan, it's a it? vegan it was, beef. That's. I bet it wasn't real meat. It was beans for sure. It was for it was sure a vegan bean. meat. No, because <laughs> if it was vegan meat, it would have been like one hundred eighty-five dollars for one. For one. Yeah. Real thin. <laughs> I assume they are. I assume that they were like. They all be like hamburgers. Like when you buy a. <laughs> yeah. Is this a two? When you buy like a. When you buy like a. A steak sandwich at the fair. Yeah, and it's that. And you, it's the and worst you're like piece of really meat. disappointed by. It. And they that was twenty five. It. it was twenty of those yeah. for sure. At it's least. one real thin slice of meat that they beat with a hammer. Yeah, because <laughs> that's literally what they do when you like get a, a steak pork sandwich. T- like it's a like pork the tenderloin. Yeah. Worst fucking piece of meat they could find. And they some dude beats it with a meat tenderizer. I'm serious. <laughs> he's beating that meat all day. He is. Oh, that's his job. He's hey, a- hey, <laughs> raising. He's a meat beater. That's what he does. <laughs> Not even to five be minutes fair, we're completely there, is the a, there is a. I mean, that is a job. <laughs> it's a job description. It is a sure. job. Craigslist wanted ad. <laughs> Me, <laughs> beater. Need Don't, help beating our meat that's, at the if fair. If that is <laughs> something you aspire to, I wouldn't look for it on Craigslist. We should. We should know. Maybe we could do a show about that. Things you should and shouldn't do off of Craigslist. That would be a horrible. That'd be a that'd wonderful be, that'd be episode. It, wouldn't it? That'd be. That'd be it. There would be that's protests. The, that's the last in the episode. Street. No, I that, think that is. Do. That should be our last episode. <laughs> no, no, Things I you think... should and shouldn't solicit off of Craigslist. Yeah, we, we do. I feel like. I feel like just ridiculous Craigslist ads could be a podcast. Without we it. could do that. Yeah, yeah. Not like just outside a show, of a whole podcast. A, yeah, like that will be our. Oh, that's so. Then we have our car show. show. Our car show, our uh, hater cast, hater cast yep. then the What Kills People cast. Yep. And now we have terrible ads off of Craigslist. If if What Kills People is popular. Yeah. Okay. Imagine what Craigslist would be like. Well, yes, but I'll I, we could do the whole thing in a fake British accent. If you, like, that could be our Patreon thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think the key here is Quantity. We just need to do we're, a we're bunch the, of different podcasts. We're not doing the podcast game correctly. I no. think you just need to do a whole bunch just of podcasts. Just like those guys selling ribeyes. And then pretend like you're a podcast consultant. Oh, yeah. And put that in your Facebook. And my LinkedIn profile. Yeah. No, no, no. Facebook. It, let's not, I mean, it needs to look a little bit sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found a professional podcast consultant on LinkedIn? No, because it doesn't, it's not a job. Dude, ten bucks says someone has podcast consultant listed as their job title. I will on now. <laughs> it's a thing for sure. I don't know if I'm if I'm logged into. Are you LinkedIn, kidding me? Have you me have in. you seen podcasters? Yeah, those guys are weird. Bunch of douchebags. <laughs> uh, here's a guy named Matthew. <laughs> oh, he is he's the podcast oh, consultant. Oh, Damn, son. man. <laughs> This guy, it's not just a. This He's guy is. The. There's another guy. He's the school of podcasting podcasting consultant. I'm sure he made up whatever that is. Um, this guy is the owner of podcast consultant. That doesn't make any sense. That's um, that's his company name. Podcast yeah. consulting. It's a LLC. It's a thing. You can you can claim that that's what you do. We probably have more downloads than him. Probably not Which though. Is, that's the problem. Don't get me started. Because he probably has 40 shows, Robbie. Oh, yeah. That's co- what we're it's doing It's a collective wrong. number yeah. that he, he uses all those metrics together. Yeah, absolutely. Dang it. Anywho. Well, we're 10 minutes in, so I think we can start. We uh, open uh, it up now. Open it. Presented by uh, Factor <laughs> Fabrication. Did you ever get any, do we have any, um, do we have any decals? Did anybody ever go get any decals? Yeah, I got some. You have some? Yeah, I got right, I need to go buy there. You don't have any, I assume. No. Exit. Yeah, when I went and got the tires from him, I grabbed a, or handed me a handful of stickers. Yeah, yeah. I need to get by there. do that, huh? Yeah. You should. They're cool. They're actually cool. Yeah. We should We should talk to them. See if we should give that stuff away some, to yeah, get some. We should get some to give away for sure. Because yeah. they're like. How about I just give you, away the ones I already have? You could do that. He doesn't need to know about it. We'll just give them away. I, he'll know now. Well, he gave them to you. I mean, they're your property, so do whatever you want to. He'll it. know now. He we'll listens. Sticker, some, sticker giveaway. We'll think of something for next week. But they're like, if you're, if you're into. German cars. The Germans. Yeah, it's it is very German. I'm good with that. It makes a lot of sense. My Japanese car. 
I can't uh, remember what it says. Otherwise, I would tell people. Oh, hold on, it doesn't matter. Okay. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to that next week or the week after. Yeah, we'll tune some, in next week. We'll get. We'll give some stickers Citizen. away. We got stuff to give away for James too. The, yeah, we got yeah. some T-shirts oh, and yeah. hats and stuff. We're gonna. So when he does runoffs, we get a little closer, Ooh. a little pre. We're just yeah. kind of warming people up. Just pay attention. We'll haven't have, figured out how to give it away yet. We'll but have the giveaway show. We've got shirts. There's some more shirts and decals and stuff down here, and uh, there's a shirt and a hat there. But we're gonna figure that out later. He's, we're gonna help campaign. Him for runoffs. I like it. Perfect. Know. Okay, what's your opener 12 minutes in? <laughs> so uh, this weekend, as I uh, am known to do, went to Solo Nationals, which is a very wet Solo Nationals this year. Uh, not the hashtag wet. Oh, no, just, just no, the, the sucky wet. Just the, like, the buckets grid life and buckets wet. and buckets of, yeah. Uh, yeah. This year, grid life wet, not 2018 grid life. You mean like that picture? Where he's yeah. driving in a yeah, lake. Yeah, dude, it looks like he's literally driving in a lake. Uh, that man is lost. And that's a... <laughs> How do you even know where to go? You can't see. That's a reoccurring theme this year. Let me be the Every dude picture that's I've standing out so there far. with the radio going, uh, car 13, off course. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Fuck that noise. Dude, they were... Every car. They were racing into the dark last night. Oh, gosh. People were like, I'm not course working this. It's dangerous. You've got cars that's out a, there. That's they fair. can't stop. You've got like full on race cars out there that don't have headlights. And they can't stop. It's a it's a deal, man. It's yeah. a rough deal. Hey, I've never but, seen so much uh, standing water. Yeah, this has been an interesting year. I wasn't even going to talk about nationals this year because yeah. I really didn't have a whole lot to talk about it. You know, I mean, I go every year. It's it's the greatest car show on earth, and and it's a lot of fun to go to and and stuff like that. But this year has been particularly controversial. Controversial. Yes, we like controversy on this show. Apparently, What's, tell me your conspiracies. No, oh, there's no conspiracy. This is full on confirmed. This is oh. this is the Illuminati for sure. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed. It's a widely accepted fact. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, um, SCCA National Office always releases the maps or the course maps for uh, for solo nationals. Yeah. Generally speaking, they do it the week beforehand. Okay. This year, for some reason, they were like two, two and a half, almost three weeks out. Oh man! That they released them, and uh, there is a a region who I'm going to leave unnamed. If you're a regular autocrosser, you're well, I can say the region. It was the superior region, which oh, is I went to I was gonna say uh, the Nebraska region because no. they're in Lincoln, Nebraska. No, actually, there's a bunch of Nebraska region guys that are some of the most upset about this situation. Um it's like the region for the upper peninsula of Michigan. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's like twelve people in it, I would assume then at that point, right? Because like no well, one it's, lives. It's there, probably right? snowing right now. Probably, yeah. It's Absolutely. probably why they're here. I don't think it's inhabitable. I think it's the same as Siberia. But yeah. <laughs> Just didn't Yeah. So apparently they have uh a facility available to them that is also an X B fifty two field, which is what this is Lincoln's is. That's why it's there's so much concrete there, is because it used to be for B fifty twos because apparently they need lots of space. Yeah, they're kind of they are large. They're, they're, they're yeah, big. I guess they're not a small object. No. Uh, so they decided, uh, for good or for bad, to set up a, to have a two day event. Set up one course on one day and the other course on the other and run it. Oh. And uh, is there dimensions on that drawing? So it is to scale. Oh. And uh, apparently, if you know what you're looking at on that drawing. Um, there's places or there's indicators on those for places they're supposed to avoid when designing courses. Okay. Things that have been replaced or broken up or something like that, you know? Yes. And, uh, so, and also apparently I learned this weekend, uh, the squares for B52 fields are 25 by 25, the concrete patches. Okay. So if you take the map and you overlay it over, um, you can you can over get your scale. Air, uh, Lincoln Air Park, mm. and then match up the places you're supposed to avoid. Oh. Then you can move uh. it over, and it's pretty straightforward, scale, right? Because it's mm. all to scale, and it's pretty pretty simple at that point. If you really want to put the effort into it, so that's what they did. But beforehand, because uh, I actually talked to the people that did this, because it turns out I know some people who know them. Yep. Uh, they reached out to the national office and they said, hey, can we do this? And it went through a couple different people, got it through a, you know, a small email chain, and ultimately the decision was... If you can take the time to do sure. it. Sure. All right. You know, I don't know exactly how that email was worded. They may, got, they it may it. have said, I can't tell you you can't. They, well, they got it in writing that said <clears throat> that the, 
They didn't tell him they couldn't. Is it in the solo book? Well, so the way the solo book is written, it is, if it doesn't say you can, then you can't. That's the way ah, the book is written. Okay. That's and there attention. is there is a uh, um, a rule that basically, excuse me, a rule in the course definitions part of the book that the gist of it is uh, you can't have a competitive advantage based on um, previous runs of that course at that location or something along those lines. And then it also has like things about like how um, you're not allowed to drive the course off like in a golf cart or anything like that ahead of time and, and stuff like that so that you don't have any of those quote unquote competitive advantages. It's got to be fresh in everybody's mind to everybody. So the big argument now is, did they cheat? And there is a range of, of opinions scaling from who really cares I don't think it made any real difference to they should be banned from the SCCA and the region <laughs> should be fined. Now, so there, there are six people on the list of people who participated in this particular event that are also registered for nationals. Allegedly, one of those people even drove as many as 10 hours one way to get there. So what I've read, this is all internet rumor. Yeah, of course. Anybody can go out there and find all the same things I read. I don't know if that's true or not. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The way I look at it, there's a few different ways you can look at this. Number one, uh, racing is racing. You're always looking for competitive advantages. I think that it's a gray area in the rule book. Uh-huh. They got permission from the from the SCCA, and uh, the only reason you'd be mad about it is because you didn't think of it first. Secondly, I do not for a second believe that this doesn't happen elsewhere. Every freaking year. These are just the first people to actually get caught. I can see that, number one, you wouldn't have uh, – most places don't have the space. Like we, right. for yeah, instance, where would we, go? we couldn't even set up half of one of these national events right. at any place that we race at. But if you had a private test in tune at like Oskaloosa, because I know that has happened for tire testing and stuff like that, for some of the nationally competitive guys we have in this area, they've done tire testing, you know, on a Friday afternoon at Oskaloosa. Right. There's no reason that I, or there's, I have no problem believing that you could set up a series of those uh, particular corners yep. and run through them, ones that you're concerned about or whatever. To me, that's not at all unreasonable to believe that that's happening. I don't think it would even be that hard to do. No. <clears throat> uh, I also think that, number one, they did it almost two weeks ago, so I don't even know that there's really truly any like muscle memory competitive advantage to it. There'd be some, but yeah, it's not the same. I don't know for sure, I guess. Uh, another thing I would question, if it's even slightly different, I think it could even be argued that it's a disadvantage. Yeah, if they memorize the wrong course. Yeah, if you have... You know, you could be turning in too early or too late now because that's what you think is correct. Um, so I don't know. I think what's going to end up happening uh, is that the SCCA is going to amend the rule book. Mm-hmm. And then, well, I don't even know that they need to amend the rule book. Just don't release the course maps. Yeah, if they, if they wait. I was told that years ago when you drove in and you signed the waiver, they hand you the course map. That would make sense. And to me, that seems personally or perfectly reasonable because you don't need it. If, if that's, a week if that's in your advance. intention of the rules, that's how you need to be handing them out then. Right. Exactly. Yeah. If, if you don't want them to know the course before the event or like ha- be able to race people it before to the think event. That, people seem to think that that's, that's autocross, not knowing the course at all before you show up there. I would, I that's would, autocross. I would not disagree with that at all. That's what. That's the defining difference between it and any other, other any other form of motorsport. Is the lack of knowledge of the course, and so they they're saying like you you've ruined the fundamental of this event, which I don't. The know drivers I did not. Yeah, I, I would put it on SCCA if they if they right. didn't want this to happen, they shouldn't have released them so fast, and they shouldn't have approved it. That too, because I know that those people, if they would, if the SCCA would have said no, you can't do that, they wouldn't have. Right. I talked to them personally, and I believe that that's what they would have done too. They wouldn't have done it in secret. I don't. I don't buy that. I'm I think convinced they that everybody said, okay. does it in secret if they can. Yeah, I think so too. If, if they that, if they release the maps early enough, everyone's going to do something. And then, I think if you're going to make an argument that this is an advantage, then I think the argument could be made that the people who race with the Nebraska region 
have a competitive advantage over everybody else too. Absolutely. Because that's where that event is held. And Nebraska region races multiple races a year on that same surface. And when you're at the pointy end of the stick, you're setting up your car for that surface. Right. So if you have test and tune time on that surface, even if you don't know the course day of, you're still at a competitive advantage. Right. That's why Ron Vermullum doesn't show up to a DMVR events and goes to Nebraska region events when one of them is 10 minutes from his house and the other one is two and a half hours. Right. So well, if you want to be competitive, you set yeah. it up for that race. Right. So I think, you know, if you're going to bitch about these people having a unfair advantage, I don't know that it's unfair. I would agree that it's a competitive advantage. I don't know that it's an unfair advantage. No, I wouldn't call it unfair. I really wouldn't. It's just the opportunity they had versus you. And it, it was a public event. If you wanted to go, you could have. Sure. So I don't know. It's difficult. It's It's weird. I think they'll probably not release the maps early enough for any i think that they should be released day of as you pull in the course as you pull onto a site here's your map yeah early enough for it or like a couple days before and whatever i think if you're releasing them early at all that gives you the gives people the opportunity to cheat if that's what you're if that's what you're deeming this as is cheating then they should not be handed out early period yeah you can't you can't write a rule and you can't enforce it right because people could be doing that in private right and, and then if you're going to have a rule like that, no one's going to talk about it. It's going to be something that people do, and it's just, mum's the word. Yeah. I don't know. If, if they release this and I had the software to make a sim, I'd just copy the whole track and then practice that the days before. Well, that's the other thing is a bunch of people said, like, dude, I, I built these in. There's a there's a particular program that people yeah, even I can't think use. of the name, but yeah, I know there is. Like Live for Racing or something like that is the one that all these autocrossers use. They build those courses in there, and then they go out in their simulators and they run them. Yeah. How, is that, how it, is that any different? I mean, I would say it is different. But it's still a competitive advantage. I think driving versus simulator, driving's always better. Oh, green. But so let's say that, you know, if I show up having no clue, I'm at 0%. Mm-hmm. And these people, some people even claim that they were 90 or 95% of the way to understanding that course fully. Then I would say a simulator's at least 50. At least. Maybe 75. You'd at least know when, what to expect next. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I don't know. I find no fault. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> I don't think that it's, I think that people are turning mountains out of molehills. 100%. To an extent. Yeah. I can see I can see where it was maybe done in a little bit of poor taste. But I don't know that I really think it's that big a deal. I don't think it's I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's done in poor, in poor taste. I, I think they had a good idea. You know. Yeah. I wouldn't even call it cheating. You know, it's not like making I don't think it's cheating. It's not like making fake roll cages like, or to me, you know to me competitive advantage and cheating are two different terms. They Absolutely. have two Absolutely. different definitions. And you, you, I think you can make an argument that this is a competitive advantage, but I don't think it's cheating. I wouldn't call it cheating. That's what people are calling it. I think it's fine. So No, they, they use the resources as it was put presented to them. There are people who showed up to this event that are in the classes of the people who were at at that event. Showed right. up, they, they showed up to nationals, and they said, if you beat me, I already have the papers filled out to uh, protest. It. To protest. And... To me, fuck those guys. What that says to me is, like, if you're that upset about it, protest them before the event. Yeah, if it's because that- if you're gonna wait to find out whether or not you win or lost, if you if you beat them and you don't protest it, but if you lost, you did. To me, that says this is I'm just looking for a reason, a, an easy button to win. That's that's closer to cheating in my eyes. You're you're looking to screw someone over for your right. own gain. At that point you you've decided that it doesn't upset you enough to stop them from racing ahead of time, but if you lose, then you're mad about it. Yes. And I think that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's That's, that's a that's different that's like petty. That's yeah, a that's, different that's thing. That's how I look at it too. Yeah. It's not uh, I don't find let, okay, let's put it this way. I don't find what they did setting up the course ahead of time unsportsmanlike. Yeah. I find people protesting when they lose to those people Unsportsman unsportsmanlike. Like. Yeah. yeah, no, I would agree with that statement as well. Someone uh, trying to break into my house? Yeah, no, I heard, was that I noise? God, I hope so. Someone stealing out of my truck? Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know. It was a weird noise. God, hey, kids <laughs> I thought someone was going to knock probably, on the, knock probably, on the yeah, door and have to it. interrupt the podcast. Yeah, it's probably noise. thunder. I don't it's, know what it was. It's probably still raining. So. Anyway. 
We, we live in the rainforest now, Robbie. Did you know that? Oh, I'm I'm aware. <laughs> it's rained here the last five days. I live in the wetlands. Like the next yeah. five days. No, so. my, my lawn's out of control, and I can't do a thing about it. I needed to mow days ago. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, anywho, is that it? Yeah. Uh, On that deal? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about my trip that I haven't said in previous years. So, sure. if you want to hear how I feel about nationals, you can listen to the last two years. Hell yeah. Uh, I still think everyone should go. It's a great time. I really want to compete. Hell yeah. Although this year I'm glad I didn't. No, <laughs> racing in the rain doesn't sound. No, no, that's not what I'm not. No, that's not what I'm glad I missed out on. What did you miss? Uh, so, my car was built for F Street prepared. Okay. This year, uh, there is a particular Golf Mark One Golf that has been fairly dominant in that class, and this year it's being driven by none other than Randy Probst. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's like, oh, well, let's take the car that's won. I, I'm pretty sure has won more titles in that class than any other car. Yeah. And put one of the best drivers in it. Yeah, good luck, everybody else. Everybody's racing for second There's now. your There's your competitive advantage Jesus. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's hire, your advantage. Hire a professional hot shoe. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I'm like, I'm not super disappointed I'm not racing this year. Cause, I mean, I don't expect to win. You're not going to beat that guy. I'm not going to be. I'm, yeah, but I know coming into it, I know I'm not going to win. Yeah, it's natural. Right? Like, it's fine. But, yeah, Randy Probst, really? Oh, man. Come on. So... Check out Factor Fabrication on Instagram and on the regular internet, if that's your thing. Factorfabrication.com. Uh, we're going to do a bootleg sticker giveaway at some point. I don't know when. <laughs> don't tell Booney. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Max, if you're listening, don't tell Booney we're giving away stickers. I'm pretty sure Booney listens too, though. Booney, don't tell yourself. Don't, Booney, don't Shh. listen. Go back three minutes and don't listen to what I said and then skip this part and then start listening again. <laughs> Did I cover it? Was that? That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's close it's enough. Yeah. How many stickers do you have? I bet I got ten. Oh, oh well, he gave you. He <laughs> gave you. Stick- get, what are you going to put that on? I, get, I, I took two of them. I got a stack of them now. Yeah, yeah. So he he gave you stickers to give away. Then, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just want we'll to slap on we'll people's f- cars. Yeah, or whatever. You know, we'll we'll figure something out. Bootleg sticker giveaway details in the Eventually. future. Probably open ended. Keep Tune listening. Back in. To the free you're show, a sticker fanatic. You're just gonna yeah. have to come back and listen next week, or maybe even the week after. I don't know sure. when we're gonna do it. It depends on if we remember next week or not. <laughs> we'll base it on the weather. It depends on how prepared we are next week and how many life events happen. Robbie's gonna be on vacation, which means that's one third per- less likely to happen. Thirty three percent less. Wait, likely when are you happen. coming back? Tuesday, late. He's, he planned his vacation around recording. Time. Oh, okay. yeah, we're recording oh, tonight. Oh, okay, but and since then I'm on vacation be, tomorrow, so you're through, gonna be coming in green on right, next so, Wednesday. So he's off the grid for the next week, which yeah. is, means there's a 33 percent chance less that we won't remember. That well, he's not gonna, gonna bring the stickers because he'll forget. Well, yeah, there's probably I more might set so aside, we, so we won't do this at all next week. <laughs> you don't know that, <laughs> or we might. Is this the best ad you've ever heard <laughs> for a company? Come back. Or a giveaway. It is the best one that I've ever done. <laughs> well, that's true. It is <laughs> the best. Okay, anyway, should we move on to our topic? Sure. Uh, Michael's particularly excited about this uh, one. We'll see how angry I get, depending on <laughs> where the conversation goes. But So we're, we we had a show a long time ago. Long time. A single long. digit show? Or was it? Uh, no, nah, it was doubles. It was 14, in the tens. Maybe? It was in the... It might have it tens, yeah. No. Yeah, I think it was. Maybe. Hold on, I'll check. He Robbie's gonna look. Matter. It doesn't really matter. But it's a long time ago. Back when we were doing it at Robbie's Volo Com- and Volo. The yeah. Oh, it was Volo. That's Volo like twelve and or the thirteen. Ten. Ten. Episode ten. Ooh, boy. It was the Deca so we hit that double digits. It was uh, the Deca so Yeah, son. Robbie loved that. <laughs> Hate that word. He loved that bit. Um so anyway, we talked about Mansory and all the weird stuff that they make and uh, made me think, actually what made me think of it, and I didn't even remember to grab a picture of it, maybe I can share it on the group, but I saw some uh, Bugatti branded sunglasses. Oh, yeah. And uh, maybe, the you peak could, of style. maybe you could were they carbon Google fiber? those, uh, Rami. Uh, no, I'm no, sure they were not. gold. Oh, well, that's or, no, 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 they weren't Bugatti, actually. Take that. They were, they were um, well, well, you're really Mercedes. Mercedes <laughs> really Benz. screwing me up here. <laughs> They Turns actually, out. I take it back, <laughs> BMW, uh, and they're from the 60s, so wait, good luck finding wait, that. Wait, uh, there's, no, there's, no, I, got, I, I think they were actually GM branded. I got vintage Bugatti ones right here. <laughs> 250 grand. Uh, so they were Maybach 
<laughs> Maybach sunglasses. That was back, and I'm being serious. That was now. back was, before they right, were. Well, you're, you're getting Bugatti. On, on the, <laughs> those look oh, terrible. Eight hundred fifty dollar Bugatti Oof. vintage. I um, would rock those for eight dollars and fifty cents. So the sure. the the Bugatti ones have a nose piece that has the logo in it. It appears. Yes. Um, in similar uh, distaste from <laughs> Maybach. That's your opinion. They had the grill. Oh no! Nose. They had no a gold way. Maybach grill. Dude, that's amazing. It's uh. Yeah, it was really bad, and I was offended. Man, I need a pair of Audi sunglasses where the bridge is the rings. Oh, no, you don't. That's what I need. I don't know if I'll ever So it just these. reminded me that um, car companies have very poor taste. You don't say. Yeah, absolutely. Just somehow in general, um, this took they me just do a way really bad less job. time to find what I wanted to talk about <laughs> than I had thought it would, which I think just shows how poorly taste or how much poor taste out there there really truly is. Um, I don't have to do all mine at the same time unless that's really going to screw up Robbie. What do you it's think? It's all good. I'll, I'll, try, okay. to, I'll try to I'll do up. a few. Some people can do some. Can do a few, and then we'll just so, kind of we'll jump around. around. We should have hashed this out beforehand, but it's fine. The jackets last. Fine. Yes. I have one that I want to save for my last. Okay, that's fine. I think the you know The jackets go last. Last one. <laughs> it is the most expensive one. The Ferrari thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that fair? Okay. Um, so this can be anything branded. Um, I stuck to official uh, merchandise. L- yeah, I, merchandise lifestyle gear. I didn't have to leave officially branded merchandise oh, to okay. find the so things you are I wanted an to talk branded, about. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Because you were uh, talking about going through the Well, eBay. because I thought that it was going to be harder to find terrible things than it was, which is... No. So I was, like, it's planning on looking at, like things that weren't being made and possibly unofficially branded things and stuff like that. And turns out it's really not, there's a lot of really bad taste out there. My Um, my hardest thing was trying to find things that you guys wouldn't find. Right. Well, that'll be the other thing. And it turns out that it is not, it is not limited to luxury brands. No, no, no. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll go through part of my list here. I, I went through, the luxury brands, because I assumed that they would have really stupid stuff, and right. they didn't disappoint. Aston Martin was not nearly as offensive as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, not overly offended. There was a lot of merchandise uh, oh, if you're an Aston Martin brand. Just overpriced stuff? A little bit of overpriced stuff, but if, if like, you know, you want a keychain, it might be 25 bucks or 10, 15 bucks or something well, like I can that. Tell it's you a little this, expensive, but... Audi keychains are $15, so an yeah. Aston <laughs> Martin keychain at 15 to 25 seems... Yeah. If Market you're, reasonable. If you're an Aston Martin fan, you can get some Aston Martin stuff and not break the bank without buying a car. Koenigsegg, oddly enough, uh, merchandise was incredibly affordable. Um, really? I'm yeah. going to go buy some Koenigsegg stuff. You should get some Koenigsegg sure? stuff. <laughs> that's a $50 t-shirt. The car cost $3 million. <laughs> oh, we're talking about relative, relative, relative terms here, Robbie. Relative, and we haven't gotten to Lamborghini, who's a little bit out of Again, control. I can spend fifty dollars on an Audi T-shirt too, so I, I think it's. I would still call this reasonable. It's. I don't it's, know if it's, it's in, in good the, taste. It's, it's in the ballpark. Is there like a sweet keychain I need to get? Yeah, like twelve dollar lanyard. Twelve dollars for a lanyard says Koenigsegg. I feel on. like it's that's what I feel like. That's what lanyards cost. That's about. Yeah, that's about the right price. If you're gonna get a Super Street lanyard or something like that, it's probably ten dollars yeah, for a Grid Life one or something like that. Yeah. So not offended by Koenigsegg. I thought there would be like a carbon fiber glasses carrying case that cost eight thousand dollars. Like the Pagani briefcase. Is there a yeah. Pagani briefcase? I couldn't find case? a price on it and make and an official. If you have to ask. Yeah, I want. I wanted to talk about that one. I just couldn't find a, any information. Um, on but I'll do a couple more here that I was offended by. Can we go to the Porsche page? Um, I f- and I, I feel like this is the the crown jewel of offensive. Re- this is for you. Well, Porsche in general. Well, yeah, yeah. Porsche. I, mean, I didn't even look at Porsche because I knew you had already done Porsche it. Porsche has some stuff that's maybe not terrible. Also, Porsche design is kind of a separate entity. Yeah. Which is a little bit confusing. It's not exactly the same thing. It is Porsche, but it's not Porsche. Um, so this is actually from the Porsche site. Um, if you decide that your books need to be supported by uh, an aerodynamic thing. It's a wing. It's a wing it's that a they've wing. that they've turned into a bookshelf. Oh my um God. I did not do you find... mount that to the wall? It, you yeah, do. You have yeah. To. Yep. Like what Ooh. and it's you know it's so it's a GT three wing. So I far think, I'm correct, in. right? So okay. Far, You're in on this? I'm, I'm in on this. Um I'm not against I don't it, know I'm against one thing about it. I don't know that the uh the brake caliper bookends I, are pretty stylish. I don't know that that comes with it. <sighs> um Shit. which is kind of a bummer. Did you find those by chance? 
Yeah, yeah, don't. don't no, how no, much? No, it's okay, it's how, okay. Mu- how much are we talking here? What's uh, the damage? So think about it's carbon fiber. Okay. Um, okay. It weighs. Uh, Ooh, I want to. Are, are we gonna play the game here? Can you, I play the game? You want to take a guess at the oh, price? Yeah, I, I can't. I yeah, know no, it. you've seen it. You go I, ahead and take I, a guess at what a GT3 wing that is a bookshelf would cost. And you I'm assuming that Porsche tax is strong here. Wait, uh, so is this like a real wing that's been modified, or is this designed specifically to hold books? I would hope it's been designed specifically to hold it's books. It's got a flat top. Because otherwise it would have a curved top and the books would not sit on I it. Think it, it seems to be flat. I don't, it looks a little curved to me. I think that's just a reflection. Original 911 GT3 cup rear spoiler as a wall shelf. Is or, if what it's, it's or if it's full of enamel. Keep it flat. It could be full of enamel. That's there fair. There you go. Uh, I'm assuming Porsche Tax is strong here. I'm going to go with $3,500. You're in the ballpark. It's $4,200. <sighs> It's an expensive wing. I wonder, like, so if I add that to my Porsche, is it free? No, like, like if I if I was specking out my Porsche, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could go to the catalog and and a la carte some items. Okay, I wonder what that wing would cost if I was putting it on my race car or on my my new car. This doesn't fit on the car. I know his point is, what would the actual wing cost? Oh, like, yeah, no, I like the- if I was buying the wing. I want the wing on my car. Is how it, much is money how much is does the that same cost? price? It might be the same price. I feel like it should be less. <laughs> but it probably isn't. You're probably right. The, the exact same price. In a world <laughs> it's forty two thirty. In a world where they charge <laughs> In a the world nose. where they charge me to take out the radio. Yeah. It for sure costs at least as much, if not more. Oof, so. yeah. God, you could go to eBay and just get like a two hundred dollar <laughs> real carbon fiber hood, or a wing, and then just put a Porsche. Yeah, that's the wild it. thing about it. It doesn't do anything. No, it's just a bookshelf. But you Who know, they're sold them. Fiber? Oh, I'm sure people bought those. I'm sure they're in the in the you go know, in the in their man. Cave. What do they call them? The, Where they park their Porsches? No, I'm talking about the store. It's not called a. It's not a Porsche store. It's it's like a boutique or some boutique. shit yeah, boutique. like that. I don't know. <laughs> but the, it's this is all marketing, all of it's marketing nonsense. Right. It's all branded lifestyle, going up a mountain with your all road and you gotta have all the stupid zippers and shit on your jacket and all. It's all. It's what all this is. It's like some sort of marketing wet dream of <laughs> a world that nobody lives in. <laughs> it is it's all bullshit. But people buy it. Yeah, where are you gonna put your, your 9-11 manuals? You gotta have a shelf. Your Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. On a no, I hide that. I don't want anybody to know I have your it. Harry Potter collection. What? Who <laughs> reads that crap? I just offended a lot of people. Your Lord of the Rings books. I don't know. No, both of those <laughs> series are terrible. I haven't read any of those. You should read Lord of the Rings. It's great. It's awful. I think I read, I think I read the great. Hobbit. Hobbit's pretty good. Harry Potter's fine. Lord of the Rings. I that I'd rather read the Lord ruined of the Rings. a portion of my childhood that I would like back. I couldn't get through very many of the Harry Potter books. They got too long, and I lost interest. I, could, I think I read I the first start one. I think I read the first two, and then I was like, 750 pages. <laughs> you get out of here." So the, cons- the general consensus is Harry Potter is terrible. That's yeah. a no, no and I'm Lord of the that. Rings is also terrible. No, it's great. No, no general consensus. What do you? I'll go with uh, if you go ten or you go zero out of ten. You go ten out of ten. I'll go with five out of ten. So Lord of the Rings <laughs> is passable in certain situations. Well, so the books I read most commonly, I know I'm going to get outvoted on. So let's move on. Okay, Aww. fair enough. We need a book. <laughs> we need a book podcast. I read a lot of books. Podcast number six. I think. Quali- quantity over quality, right, Robbie? I McLaren, do both. <laughs> McLaren. Um, they had uh, some interesting. I noticed that one thing. There's a prevailing theme theme of uh, luggage. Oh yeah, I don't oh, know yeah, what that's sure. about. But everybody's got their luggage. Everybody's well, got luggage on luggage on luggage car. on luggage. When you're yeah. own, when you own supercars that have like stupid, I think they just assume that if you own a supercar that you're like a business person and you're traveling and you travel all the time. Which you know, I don't know. Fair enough. But you don't take your supercar. But if you're a if you are somebody that spends three hundred thousand dollars on a car, yeah, do you buy McLaren luggage? Or Lamborghini luggage or I don't, Ferrari luggage. I don't have the money I don't for think it, you then. buy luggage that specifically fits in that car because you have zero intention of taking that car on a on a trip. I don't even think the luggage fits in the car. I think it's fit for the plane. It's yeah, like it's your plane, regular carry-on. It's, it's like, a, it's like carry-on luggage. So it's not even luggage for the car. It's I luggage that, for a plane. I think that it depends on the brand. It's a carbon fiber. Because people like yes. live that Porsche. Then, yeah, life. most of it was. If it's carbon yeah, fiber, I'm all. I'm all people about. People live it. that Porsche lifestyle, but I don't know that people like live that McLaren lifestyle. They should. I don't disagree with that, Robbie. I could live that lifestyle, but I don't think people do. 
I don't, but the, but if you, if, I don't think that every other thing they own is McLaren. Brand. If your disposable income is, for all intents and purposes, unlimited, and you're going to spend a lot of like four figure four figure number on luggage, okay? Do you buy it from Louis Vuitton or do you buy it from McLaren while you're getting a service? You know what I think is probably the most common purchaser of McLaren branded luggage. The wife of the guy who bought a McLaren in June, and she doesn't know what to buy him for Christmas in December. Fair. That is fair. That is probably very true. And so she got on the McLaren, well, her assistant got on the McLaren website. And His was assistant. Like, <laughs> who he's probably also hooking up with. Let's be real here. He's getting two sets of McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't pay. He bought both. <laughs> <laughs> Which is some of it was hush money. <laughs> But yeah, wow. you're probably right. It's probably not the people buying the cars. It's no, people it's that probably, know the people that bought yeah. the cars. Yeah, but right. also have large access to disposable incomes. Their disposable income. They're spending their income. That's Somebody right. else is spending his <laughs> yeah. money on stuff probably. that he's not going to use. That's McLaren branded. Well, what else is a trophy wife going to do? Beats me, Robbie. I don't know. <laughs> Broke compared to these people. But up next, we have this pair of sunglasses from McLaren, which, uh, if I'm being honest, are. Uh, Subtle, <laughs> yeah. That's, no, it's I don't not. Think that's not true. subtle. That's not the word. You got I was the wrong looking. word. That's there. not the right word. Uh, they're orange and they have orange lenses and they look like the worst pair of Oakleys you've ever seen in your entire life. They also look like safety glasses. They also they, very some, safety glasses. They look like sure. safety glasses and they look like they would be owned by a guy named Chad. I bet he's got a Harley oh, too, for sure. Chad. Chad. Yep. It's do they have, Chad. Do they Wait, have Chad. On the side? Chad. Or no, I didn't. I didn't say uh, Guy Fieri. I said oh, Chad. My bad. It, Chad or Derek. Two options if you're going to buy these sunglasses. Those are your names. We know what Derek. No, 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 it, it, no. Wait, he's a nice guy. The Derek that <laughs> likes the show is no. Wait, Derek's not. Derek's not the name then. It's no, Derek not. is definitely the name. No, we know a Chad too, don't we? He's got I, an we LT one. Chet. Shit, it's Chad. Chad, there we go. It's definitely Chad. Yeah, <laughs> save that one a little edit. Polish that right out. No one will ever know about that. Chet sunglasses from McLaren. Uh, they're obnoxious. Oh no. Lance, oh, I'm good with Lance. Lance is wearing these. My old for boss's sure. name is Lance, <laughs> and he actually probably has for a pair that look just. Sure. They don't say McLaren, no, 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 but they look just like that. He say Harley when he's driving around his Harley. Yeah, they probably say Harley Davidson. These are kind of. They're, they're a little his, loud. They're he puts flashy. on his do rag and his and his terribly. Yep. They got a weird tasted sunglasses. They got a weird. They detail have like, on yeah, the they have side. like a grill on the side, like where your safety side would be, like your side shields. We well, you know what that is. Yeah, it's like the it's like the mesh of the grill from the McLaren. Yeah, on the back. Yeah, the vent. It's the vent. Uh, Twenty eight hundred dollars. Whoa. Twenty eight forty two fifty. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! You got to be kidding me. That's three thousand dollars. Oh for the wait, can I read some marketing bullshit here? Please, oh, please, please do. My god. This somebody wrote this. A person I assume, maybe a robot, designed for driving, optimized for the ultimate style and comfort. The eyewear features honeycomb ventilation detail, the use of carbon fiber, and rubber temple arms for maximum comfort. Rubber temple arms. Get the hell out of here. Military-grade lenses. Oh, no. It's like the HD <sighs> Highly stuff. impact resistant. Offer visual enhancement and safety. Crucial for an ultimate driving experience. So they are I, feel like I'm reading, I feel like I'm reading a, an ad cardboard cutout in Granger. Yes. For some, while I'm waiting for the guy to come back with, with whatever parts. it is, I actually showed up there to buy that day. With a, for a $15 a, pair of safety there's glasses? There's a display of safety glasses. I'm just bored, and I'm reading through it. That's exactly what just happened. Yes. Yeah, well, somebody got paid a quarter million dollars a year to write that professionally on their website. <laughs> I don't have a problem with a $2,800 price tag. I do. My biggest hang-up right now is the 295 five-star reviews. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right below it, there's, no way. It's a, it's got four and a half stars and two hundred ninety five reviews or two hundred ninety five people voted. Oh my gosh! So they've sold a metric buttload of these. How is that? More possible? people are just voting them without owning them. No, these are like normal reviews. They actually have a review on, option. It stays Fabu on my face fabulous, while I drive fast. Fabulous value and great quality. I mean, that guy's got to be like a billion. That's Warren Buffett, isn't it? That's who that no, is. No, he never no, he would never own these. Uh, he lives in like a moderate. He still has a nice tube house. TV. Yeah, well worthwhile. Thank you. Three, okay, <laughs> three stars. <laughs> Best sunglasses ever. Great service. Really prompt response to order. I'm really glad that that's dispatch. become a thing. 
I don't see any three star reviews where uh, there's a, there's enough to drag it down to a four and a half. So somebody wasn't super jacked on it. I it's I wonder if these are just a collection of Mcclaren reviews. I don't know if this is necessarily for the sunglasses, but anyway, we can move. The great value. The reviews of the cars. Great value they for just money. Threw them in there. Um, let's come back to me. Somebody else want to go? Sure. Pick one, Robbie. For you? I don't care. All right, Yours, we'll go mine. For it. All right, and we'll start with this one. All right. So this, I was digging through the Audi uh, oh, collection. This is a keychain that boldly states, save the manuals. Okay. From a company who just announced they were killing all of their manual powered, or all of their manually shifted cars. Does What does that say? More horses, says, fewer seconds? Oh, yeah. So yes. that's, that, that's save the manuals on. It won't let me open the one you want to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course it won't. But one, it's just a plastic keychain, like the 3D printed ones we had. Yeah. Yep. It says more horses, fewer seconds, or save the manuals. Or and just one that says Audi. And it has the Audi rings. But so I specifically wanted to talk about the irony of the save the manuals keychain. Because they're... Somebody. They're done with me. A marketing person at Audi got who, on Jalopnik. Who follows Jalopnik coincidentally. Ironically, probably. Right. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. Yeah. And he was like, people think this is cool. We should make this keychain. And then the other marketing people went, great. And nobody ever <laughs> consulted with any of the engineers <laughs> to ask them, do we make Wait, any manuals? We sell anymore? less than 1% of our cars with manuals. Maybe we shouldn't bother. Are we on a campaign to bring back the manual transmission? No. Okay, <laughs> this is not a good idea. How much is uh, said? Fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety five. I mean, they're for three cents of plastic. Yeah, it's a really right. yeah, like, but look, that's that's the scale, going rate. Scale. It's for the key. It, the yeah, actual this is, key this is ring. two scale. Key ring, mine. You know, compared to the, how big the actual yeah plastic thing is, it's a very small key. The chain. key ring is key ring is the same height as the key chain, so it is very small. It's like a pop tab. It's kind of like it's a, a little tab. longer, like a long pop tab. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about the that's, irony yep, of the situation. That's some marketing right there. It's pretty poor. Save the manuals in my automatic Audi. What's next? Let's do another one. You want me to just go in order? Just pull something up. So as I was perusing through the... They, is this a beekeeping house no, thing? No, oh, okay. it's way Beehive. better. You're asking it's about a beehive, yes. It's way better. It's a fucking Jenga game that's Audi oh, branded. Oh, my God. <laughs> And it comes in a its own it's a wooden box. Carrying case. Yeah, it comes in a wooden carrying case. Okay. It's, uh, each each one of the little blocks has an Audi ring embossed on it. Okay. No, it's a uh, um, wood burned or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. However you whatever. That what, is. What's the right word for that? I don't know. Wood burning. Wood burning. I think that's yeah. Yeah. That's burned in there. So it's, Laser it's etched. artisan. I don't know. It sure. <laughs> <laughs> but who buys that? Uh, yeah. Tailgaters who, with their who, Audi. Who does this appeal to? A well, it's not, it's not even a giant Jenga. No, it's not even cool. It's a little Jenga. Yeah, it's just reg- it's just like like look at the size of the dice. You just put to that it. on the coffee table in the room you use to entertain guests. This goes. It keeps the kids see. quiet. So it's an Audi, but so you're not that. No, it rich. doesn't. It keeps the kids loud. You're not that rich. No, you're but not. You like want to look super rich. well off. Well, I was just thinking like there's those guys that have those man caves. We like pull your McLaren in or whatever. Oh, yeah. right. No, no, it's not one of those. Got, no, I don't. This, is just, so. this is just a basement. You got a glass coffee table with some vintage couches that cost ten thousand dollars each. It's got a five cylinder block underneath yeah, the glass yeah. couch that yeah, yeah. you paid someone eight or nine thousand dollars to make. Yeah, I don't think that that guy exists. And and not, not with this. Maybe jacket. one. So they sold one to that guy. I don't. He's got some vintage Quattros. I tried to find it. I I couldn't find it. I, I think they have a meat and cheese tray. D- with edible meat and cheese on it? No, no, no. no, no. Like it's you one of those, oh, you buy the like tray. a porcelain <laughs> tray that you put meat and cheese on and then serve to guests. Christmas is coming. I was. It had like the dip bowl and the tray. Oh, had like the. You know what I mean? No, it had like the dip bowl in the center and the little divots all the way around the outside edge for your chips and your crackers and your cheese and your summer sausage. So if I went to this party that Audi thinks that somebody is having. <laughs> I couldn't find it, but it was it was in the one of the banner pictures where I found the Jenga game, and then I was able to find the Jenga game, and I called it good because I could only take so much Audi time. I, I don't just, think I could get I out of that guy's was gonna break. house fast enough. <laughs> like, if I got to a dude's house, and right? he's like, welcome, would you like a chip? Would you like and, some? And I was like, oh, like it's Like a Audi. Ritz cracker with some cheddar cheese and a piece of summer sausage. And, and I'd that's be not like, nice, though. And I'm, that's a good host. I'm just saying. 
Not, yeah, if, but if he has it on a porcelain you, Audi tray. If you walked in there and he handed that to you on an Audi tray, the offense on your face, Robbie. <laughs> you wouldn't even I take do, it, bro. I, I do want some, but... You'd say no. And then when sir. you came around the corner and saw that there were a bunch what, of people... You want to play in, Jenga? ...in scarves, I might add. <laughs> you know they're wearing scarves. Zip and they've got those skinny, glass, the skinny glasses, yeah, those absolutely. architects. They're all architects. Every single one of them is an architect. <laughs> and you walk in there, and they're playing Jenga on some branded... Jenga box. <laughs> They're not even carbon fiber. They're wood. That would have been passable. I would have allowed carbon fiber Jenga. Because then it's ridiculous. That would have been, been rad. You couldn't get you couldn't get out of that house fast enough. How much was Jenga? I don't even remember. It's like fifty bucks. I think. I think it was like fifty bucks. Fifty yeah. bucks. Ah, oh. fifty bucks. I, my guess was two eighty five. So it's a bargain. There's a whole game set. Oh shit, son! You could have a whole Audi yeah. party. You could with yeah. your meat and cheese tray, dude. They had all the, like the party. Oh. Glasses and shit like that, dude. You could have a whole party. What'd you find? All right, so this game set has oh, chess. Look at that. Uh, backgammon, dominoes, backgammon. cards, dice games. Get the uh, checkers. I think no, no checkers. Is that checkers? Doesn't if matter. it has chess, you can play checkers on it. We're gonna do prices right guess on this one. Ooh, so the other one was fifty dollars. I'm gonna go one so one ninety nine. Two twenty. One seventy nine. Ooh. <sighs> Bargain. $180 for an Audi. It doesn't even have the logos anywhere. Oh, I'm sure each one of those is hidden in there somewhere. A little there. Easter egg. Yeah, no, it's for sure got it. That's They're crazy. in there somewhere, dude. That's crazy. All right, what's next for Adam? Has he got any more uh, fascinating Audi things? things uh, I think that was the end of my Audi list, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, it gets more offensive for me. Good. Now. Let's do some more offensive things. Uh, I, I went a little lower class here. Went to Ooh, Chevy. Ooh, yeah. So this is not actually a lifestyle accessory, but I was still really upset that they sold them. Still available on ChevyMall.com. Yeah, so I clicked accessories, and I thought that that was where I needed to be, and it just took me to, like, accessories for your car. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this, uh, brake caliper covers. <laughs> Which is something that I and hate. I can't believe they're yeah, hate. No, dude. And some hate. of these... Like, it's for every car they make. There's cruise ones. There's Volt ones. Silverado. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Plastic. Wait, 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 wait. Avalanche. 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 Come on, where come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Equinox, SSR, Trailblazer. Avalanche! Yay! How much are they, Robbie? How much are they going to say? I know what Robbie's getting for Christmas. Oh, please don't, please. If you do it as a joke, sure. If has got to use them, though. How much are they? They're more expensive than calipers. How much are they? Two hundred. Holy crap! You could buy brand new calipers for that. Uh, since nobody took us up on me doing the NPR voice for what was it? Was it how much 2400? was it? Twenty four hundred dollars. It was a bargain. Yeah, yeah. you can't Frankly. afford to not do it. Uh, if you would like to ruin, they even allowed them to group fund it. I know. They what more do you want? Money. From I don't know. Didn't get any response at all. It's ridiculous. Uh, if you would like to ruin Robbie's Christmas, uh, oh, send me a DM and I'll get you an address on that deal. And yeah, absolutely. you can send them to him. The, the, the worst part is I have the rims that basically cover everything, so you would never see them. That's the best part, Robbie. It would be in this scenario, but, don't but waste, yeah, why, please don't waste your time. Well, Why would the OE sell this? It's terrible. Yeah, it is quite terrible. I can't believe it's a thing. And for like cruises, volts, really? Yeah, but... Really? Have you seen the people that modify cruises? Yeah, but I could see some old man putting those on his Corvette. Oh, yeah. I, I can't see somebody yeah, buying those for his Volt. I'm always shocked at what cars I do see these on, though. Yeah, that's fair. They're usually... I always love the the street rod. Like, you'll go to good guys, uh -huh. and you'll have some old guy who's got the plastic uh, brake disc uh -huh. sandwiched brake between disc. his drum and his wheel on the back of his street rod. That's yeah. a good one. I enjoy that a lot. Yeah. It's a doozy. <laughs> We're the ricers. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. So, yeah. Uh, but that is not even, in my opinion, the most offensive GM product I found. Great. Let's keep going. Is it Corvette related? Yeah, uh, it can be. Okay, great. For the small price of essentially your soul. Okay. You can have, have a new car. <laughs> yeah. You can have quite detailed, frankly, pool tables. Oh, it's a pool table. Yeah, so they have a new Corvette, okay, a uh, '69 Camaro, and an old Corvette. Okay, uh, the old Corvette. What was it? Twenty five thousand dollars, I believe. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Seems like. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it seems perfectly reasonable, right? No, so it's what year was that, Robbie? This is a '59 Corvette. A '59 Corvette. Uh, pool table. Okay. Twenty five grand. I'm gonna take a step. Does that include the shipping. 
dark and I'm say go no. <laughs> I'm going to say that they've sold more than ten of these, which is <laughs> I this unfortunate. Year, dude. Yeah, this year. This year. Since February, Carl Moyer <laughs> for sure owns one of these. There's a, there's one within driving like a short driving distance. There's one in yeah. Ankeny there somewhere. There has there's to probably be. two. In Ankeny. Let's <laughs> there's be one in Ankeny, and one in West Des Moines. I know that means nothing to anybody, yeah. but that's but those no, are like that's how close thirty minutes are away. Yep. Yeah, no, I from agree. each other. Absolutely. Yeah. So Carl's they, Carl's has C7, sold several. Of these. They have a C7 one, which no, was the cheapest. Not the C7. It's a Camaro. It's a new Camaro. Oh, was it a new there's Camaro? No, I thought no, it was a new Corvette. It's new Camaro, old Camaro, old Corvette. Oh, it is a Camaro. Son of a gun. But that was which the cheapest even, Which one. is even worse. That was the cheapest one. How much is this? 15. Ah! Oh, a bargain. It's awful. I don't... Is that metal or plastic? Is everything plastic? I assume it's all plastic. I assume it's a, just sure? a regular pool table. Yeah, with like... With like an injection mold plastic oh. cover. cover that just snaps around it. But it lights up. I was going to say, do the lights work? Because bet, that's got to be worth I'll at least I'll bet it makes really bad like MIDI... Engine noises. Does it come with the key it, fob, it and can you set the emergency alarm off? I bet it revs. In your pocket. I bet it, it revs. It weighs a sure. thousand pounds. Oh. Yeah, it's got those I think that's what It's like, custom finished when ordered and shipped to you. So you get it in... Eight, eight to ten weeks. Yeah, I was going to say, two months. <laughs> two months from now, you can have one. You can get it color matched for your car, though. I don't see this being a, Cor- or a Camaro owner purchase. No, Corvette. The yes. Corvette one, like a... I, yeah, the new Camaro, no I way. just assumed it was a C7 because that made sense to me. That made more sense. It, the Camaro, not so much. The old Camaro, I can see too. Yes. You got some baby boomer who just built a man cave, and he hung the grill of his Camaro on the wall, and he's right next to his Billy Bass, and he's just trying to find a thing to, to round it out, you know? Why don't you just get the Dale Earnhardt edition and be done with he's it? He's got the Dale Earnhardt couch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? He needs to, <laughs> it's like a Gallus red and blue. He's got a jacket in a frame. Well, yeah. yeah. On the yeah, other yeah. side. Sign, signed. He's met him three times. Yeah, it's on the other side of the grill. From It's opposite Wait, Billy junior Bass. or regular? Yes. But e- either. Yes. Either, either. Probably both. Okay. He for sure does not have a Jeff Gordon one on there, because he wouldn't shame his wall with the Rainbow Warrior. God, I'm, right. I'm, I'm with would, you. Though. I, I totally would. <laughs> and then he went and he bought a new Camaro. Yo. And he got it in red, as you do. And he it's bought the something. plastic caliper covers. As you and do. then he was then the salesman was like, Did you know <laughs> we make pool tables that you can get color match for your car? They would look great in your man cave you were talking to me about yesterday while we were filling out paperwork. And he goes, You know what? Order me two. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just fell into some fuck you money and he's not making great decisions. <laughs> Now he has two pool tables. He just, he's, he's been working his whole life as like a carpenter or something like that, you know, and he's built up himself a decent name. He's got a few employees, just sold the business. Ah, he's getting a little wild. He's he doesn't have as much cash. money. He doesn't have as much money as he thinks he has. He's flush with cash. He did not his call mind. his retirement advisor before he made any right, of these no. decisions. Yeah, absolutely. He he didn't start saving until he was like, 40. Yeah. And, and now he's 56 and he thinks that he's going to retire. I've got a million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, as Edward Jones guy is calling and doing, going, dude, did I just see thirty thousand dollars come out of your checking account to GM? <laughs> that, better that better be, be a car. that better be a car, like a whole car, like a real, one. not two fake cars <laughs> with pool table slate on top of them. I swear to God. <sighs> what we're learning is that there are several lifestyle, <laughs> there are several lifestyles that you can lead as a car person. I think. Yeah. It's amazing, really. Yep. They say that cars are a niche, but they're not. No. Uh, you're on a roll. Did you have any other ones? I have one more. Okay. Uh, I've, it was an item that I don't think anybody who owns the car would purchase. It was. Uh, Ooh, I went to the. I Kia, bet somebody. I did. went to the Kia site and I was flipping. Through. I was like, Kia is too new to have made this too many poor decisions, right? <laughs> and they have no. they have the things listed out like. <laughs> But Stinger is its own category of accessories, okay. lifestyle accessories, clothing, sure. the sort. They had a beanie that says Stinger on it, and I feel like nobody who bought a Stinger would wear a beanie in public. I feel like all of these have been given away. Yeah. I don't think anybody's they, they paid. They come free with the car. Nobody's paid money. They're, yeah, they're no. like, hey, thanks for the purchase. They toss you a beanie, and you go, yeah, that's great, and you shove it in the glove box. You, you, you never think about it. You give it to your eight-year-old. Yeah. It's there in case something bad goes wrong I f- in the middle I feel of like, I feel like... This is the marketing people thinking that people who buy Stingers exclusively listen to Limp Biscuit. You know what I mean? Yes. Like that's 
like they they have they have storyboards of just Fred Durst in the, in like the Stinger marketing office, and they're like we got to connect with this g- guy and his people. And it frosted only, tips, it, it man. Only How do we get red. to? And they're totally confused tips. about like the era and and what kids listen to, and they're just out in the weeds on what's going on. They're like red beanie. That's where it's at. We don't need kids, any more kids, colors. Kids wear beanies. Red. Fred Durst but wears red hats. That's the line we're it going. It just down. says Stinger on it. Nope. So somewhere out there, there's a guy who's a Limp Biscuit fan who wants all of his friends to call him Stinger. <laughs> and he owns they, one. He's the he's the one guy that sold <laughs> that they sold the Stinger beanie to. <laughs> Holy crap! Figuring out who the guy is that buys it is almost more entertaining than how stupid the product is. One hundred percent. Or just who buys that? What's what are they gonna do with it? Nobody who buys a stinger buys a beanie. Especially or maybe they no, all, because maybe they're they like, all do. They're like fifty five thousand dollars. I saw one the other day. I was like, God, that car looks really good. And then I and I looked they at do it. Do look really and it good. It was the twin turbo all wheel drive one. And I was like, that guy paid fifty five thousand dollars for that car. That is an expensive car. But it's a really good looking car. It's a really and I good think it's car. a really good car too. It's a really good car. It's a really good looking car. I'm not saying it's not worth fifty five thousand dollars. I'm just saying. You're not getting a deal because it's Kia. I realized. It's not a thing. I realized today that I messed up last week. That should have been on my list of what is it's. Because that's that exists in a very strange world. Because oh, it's yeah. a hatchback. It's a hatchback, yeah. But it's like a big car with four doors, which is not really a hatchback thing. Well, it's like an A7. Yeah, it's like the or only... an A5 Sport. <laughs> fuck, whatever it's called. Who knows? It's hard to say. All right, Robbie, you got some. Yeah, we can go. With, I got some Kia stuff. Yeah, Robbie got some oh, more Kia seriously? stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think that there Kia's, was anything too. Oh bad no, there. there's something worse. Kia's I didn't spend a, a lot of time on the Kia side. I found that and I was happy. They're on a lifestyle kick here. <laughs> See what they're up to. Oh, hold on. Too it's many. Right. Oh man, Robbie. Too many clicks. Uh, it's a room scent mystifier thing <laughs> from Kia. From the Kia fragrances. A mystifier. Mm, what does it smell like? A diffuser? Is that what diffuser. those are called? That would probably be the right word. I don't know. It's got room scent. It smells they, like Kia's. They, they also sell car scent. And then there was another one. I could, so wait a second. You're telling you can, me that the that that they're trying to emulate the smell of a room? <laughs> I don't know. What room? Like my bathroom? Living room, <laughs> or, living room I think. <laughs> well, the weird thing is it's sold out on their website. Of course it is. There was three of them. because they didn't think they'd actually sell any, and someone was stupid enough to they, they have a whole section of Kia fragrances for humans, oh cars, and your house. For So, like, you can buy Kia-branded cologne. cologne? I know you can get, get, Fer- you can get Ferrari-branded that cologne at TJ Maxx. Oh, God. That makes a little bit it's of sense. It's super cheap. Yeah, of course it's, <laughs> yeah. Because who buys it? Somebody paid out the nose for that licensing. Well, yeah, a couple though. of times, and then now it's made its way to TJ Maxx. No, Max. someone paid out the nose for that licensing. Originally. And then sold it to TJ Maxx for like pennies on the dollar, hoping to make their money back and in lost quantity. Their ass. Yeah. Not quality. Uh, so how much does your room smelling like a room cost you? $47.60. Ooh. Are those things like $5 at Yeah, at you, you can get an expensive, like air quotes, expensive one for like 20 but this one says Kia on it, Room Scent, and it's got a s- signature on it. Does it say Room Scent? R- Kia Room Scent by oh Antoine. So it's like a Lee. product, like oh, on it. Oh, this is a partnership. Oh, Jesus, this is one of those things where, you know, they do those commercials where there's like a designer person and they're like writing on a drafting table and they're like making a shape and talking about Room Scent and how it uh-huh. it draws together and creates <laughs> harmony with the other furniture in the room. It's it like a whole thing. Aligns your right. Your, uh, aligns your chakras, chakras. and. Follows the feng shui of the Gets room. Gets rid of your negative flow thing. That's that sort what of stuff. they. Somebody spent millions of dollars on that scent. Yes, to smell like a room, but they're sold out. There's a lot well, of rooms that smell like this. I guess Anton won on that one, didn't he? <laughs> he sure did. Anton's probably making more money than us. So <laughs> who's the fool Gu- now? Guarantee he's it's making more money. Us. Yeah. Well, you I got think some, we already knew that. Didn't you got we? some more Kia? No, I only have one. I'm just Kia. gonna get some really squinty glasses and a lot of scarves, and I'm just gonna walk into random auto manufacturers offices with really stupid ideas and they'll hand that's you a my big career now. Cash, yeah. <laughs> that's my career i'm just i'm done now turtlenecks scarves oh man squinty glasses and uh, a varying array of terrible accents and like a orange belt or something just kind of mix it up just throw depending it on, on the auto manufacturer a cigarette maybe definitely but like but like a really thin like 
right. weird one. Right, and then like not the auto manufacturer you would ex- like, not Ferrari. Go to another one, like Honda. So they're like, oh, but you this come guy. in with the cigarette, stylish. You come in with the cigarette, oh, shit, son. This guy, but in one of those cigarette holders, the plastic, you the know, long, so it's yeah, longer yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, longer. Absolutely, and blow it on people's faces <laughs> when you talk to them. Yeah, I get a thick accent though. Yeah, that's I can do that. If it means millions of dollars, oh, I yeah. get my name on a room smell thing. <laughs> I'm down. Perfect. All what right. do you got next, Ravi? Ferrari. Bicycles. They sell their bicycle. <laughs> I saw this. So Audi had cycling products, and I was really excited to see what an Audi bicycle cost. The only thing they had was some sort of like support lap belt thing. I don't know what it was. I didn't look at it long no. enough to figure it out. This one's made to order. Yeah, it is. That's not good. It's a limited edition. Ten grand. Gallo Modena. Oh, that money just went up. Twelve grand. <laughs> Keep going. Twenty four thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand six hundred dollars. <laughs> For a custom Ferrari bike. Is it carbon fiber? No. Oh, Jesus. It's not even carbon fiber? I don't think so. Come on, aluminum? Ferrari. Get you can get a carbon fiber bike for like yeah. five grand. I know you can. Or like eight grand. Or, or less. Ladies love them. Oh, yeah. Ask my ex. <laughs> and her new boyfriend. That she, well, you know what? You need to go just, there. <laughs> yeah, you, you went there. You went there. <laughs> for the record, it's not Jess. It's the other horrible one. From before. Before, before that. She gave us this table. Yeah, this is her. This, <laughs> She's supporting the podcast right now Literally. with this table I stole from her. <laughs> you didn't steal <laughs> it. She left stole it. Me, she never came back for you it. Never, she was never invited back. You didn't like <laughs> actively <laughs> pursue her to get her table. That was the best part. You're going to have everything but the table. <laughs> Keeping get the out table. of my house. I have future plans spot. for that table. <laughs> the best part is it's like actually really antique and old, and we just drilled holes in it. I did. I drilled <laughs> it in black. <laughs> I drilled these mic stands into it, and I drew the the. It's got leaves in it, and or it's yeah leaves. Yeah, yeah like they're like the, the, the hinged the, leaves. The hinged leaves on the end, and they were drooping. So I put shims in it and drilled screws we up from the bottom. Stapled at this it. like apron thing to it. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's working out fine. Us having this table is a nice. We didn't paint it black. Me. No, somebody I, else. Yeah, I, ruined the antiques roadshow aspect of it. I can't remember who painted it. it wasn't me. It might have been you. It was, it was in it? your shop. I don't think I painted it in the shop, though. That's right. You were using it for car things at one point. <laughs> it was supporting my hobby, too. Which was the other thing she didn't support. <laughs> this table supported me more than she ever did. <laughs> this pr- table has provided more emotional support. Okay. It's true. So, you got a bike. <laughs> she could tell you all about this bike, I'm sure. <laughs> Carbon it, it fiber. It go fast. It's got the most uncomfortable seat in the world. It has it no look cushion. like it has a seat. Oh my God! What is that's for? Dr- no, dude, that's biking. It's carbon though. fiber. Shit. The seat's that, carbon fiber. That is a. That's like a horrible doctor's that's appointment when you get to now, forty. Though, you know what I mean? That's what that is. That, people are dead. That's serious a prostate about a check. colonoscopy. That's a prostate <laughs> check. That that's not a seat. That, you can't no, sit I'm, on. No, that. dead serious. The guys that are yeah. that, that do these long distance endurance stuff on these that's expensive they bikes. That's, that's what, what they said. Don't they get doesn't that when they get cancer? Well, in theory, you lean forward and you don't sit on it because you're you should almost never be using it. It's just there when you need it. I think it's purposely never. designed to be uncomfortable. All right, is this carbon fiber too? That's a carbon fiber tube. No, that's that's, that's, that's just seen the whole thing's carbon fiber. fiber. Yeah, well, this is a know. really high resolution picture. <laughs> My God, it's like in four K. Carbon fiber shit. wheels. You can see. Jesus, it. Robbie, how <laughs> zoomed in can you go there? This is a very high resolution <laughs> picture. This, this is like a hundred megapixel camera. It's pretty this impressive. Is, uh, well, it is a for. They got to pay for that. Yeah, something somehow. Point. Doesn't even. Oh yeah, it does. It doesn't even have front disc brakes. Wow, that is what a not good. Terrible way to do this. That's just un- it does, yeah, That's just ex- excessive. Eighteen thousand dollars for non disc brakes on a on a road bike. Do you need disc Get brakes on here. a bike though? On this expensive a bike, yes, absolutely. I feel like those are lighter and therefore better. These are shittier, hundred percent. You don't disc brakes are better on everything. Racers don't stop, Robbie. They just Except, keep going. Yeah, which is why they crash and die because they have these shitty brakes. <laughs> they crash and die because they don't stop at stoplights. Exactly, because these brakes can't over. do it. Because they can't stop. They can't stop. If they got disc brakes, they could stop on a dime. Uh, I think I will stick to the uh, leather cushioned seat in my Genesis. Uh, thanks. Or even 100%. just like a regular bike seat on a mountain bike, even? Uh, I'd be into that. Yeah, I don't even want to sit on that. I have a memory phone one on mine. My oh, mongoose. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> my mongoose. <laughs> All right, sweet you? banana <laughs> seat on Are mine. you 12 years old? Is it your birthday? Mongoose? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll save man. that one for the end here. This one, I, this one's a crossover with that you have. Okay, that yeah, I saw. you can do it. That's it fine. is a yeah carbon oh, fiber Lamborghini branded 
docking station, which means it's not as big as it looks. <laughs> it looks like the back end so of, like, a, of so a, like a Lamborghini. Yeah. Is it iPod, iPad, or Does, iPhone specific? Please, these people it's in this in one. this income bracket could not conceive of owning an Android device. So it only works with iP- <laughs> well, iPod. I, I can guarantee you. It's, yeah, it's, it, it's it might be Bluetooth only. linked, but somehow it's got some sort of Android blocking facility well, in it. I I don't know if it's still the case, but at one point, uh, most Android products and Apple use different forms of Bluetooth. Oh, really? A different uh, frequency or something? Yeah, or? I don't know what it was. It has but Bluetooth it didn't necessarily work. And then left and right. Jacks. Oh yeah, it's got RCA inputs there you on go. it. That's, Boy. Yeah. that's useful. It's 1996 again. It's so useful. And a toggle switch for power. Well, it's got a toggle switch on the back. It's got some and fake. A so those, toggle switch on the front. Are those supposed to be exhaust pipes? Yeah, I think man. So, yeah, for the boost. It's got some fake exhaust pipes. Are those like their ports for their for the if base they are, thing? They sound like garbage. Oh, I'm sure it does. It looks like garbage. What's it looks like something I would buy for ten dollars at Dollar General. Exhaust is that? That's an expensive brand, I assume. That they pair. Nobody with. knows. It's made out of carbon fiber. So I mean, is it really? Yeah. Is carbon fiber the best resonant material for sound? Probably not. Yeah, sure. It doesn't reson- It doesn't vibrate at all. I'm sure. Yeah, it never <laughs> vibrates or sounds like plastic. Echoes sure. or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, so I know how much this costs, Adam. You yeah, want to take wanna, a stab? You give me a guess. Uh, you own a Lamborghini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think you, about that. You yep. need you need something in your uh, you need, man cave garage. No, You've this made, is no, no, no. The lifestyle product. It's you have a pool party. Oh yeah, this and, is on your and, on your patio. And the integrator has not installed the integrated speakers yeah. in your pool because it's a new house to you. Uh, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, people yeah. that live there before commoners were, didn't have commoners and ancient. No, and, they they held Audi parties with Audi Jenga, branded Jenga, and, they don't, and you can't play loud music in Jenga. It would shake it. You can't listen to that much Miles Davis. Through <laughs> large speakers because it just it's a, just that noise just will wear can't. on you. It'll just wear you out. So this is his temporary band aid to get through the weekend for a pool this party. This is my new favorite thing, by the way. Um, three grand. Three. Bro, come have some respect. <laughs> oh wait, it's carbon fiber, isn't it? And it's, uh, it's got and Lamborghini, it's Lamborghini written on it. And it's Lamborghini. Twelve. Four fifty, you're halfway there. What twenty four thousand dollars? <laughs> Duties and shipping co- uh, excluded. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to pay tax and pay to ship it. <laughs> you think it's made out of carbon it's fiber? Light. It'll yeah, be it's light. light. It's fine. <laughs> That's a thing that you can buy if you want to. Twenty four thousand dollars docking Holy station. Crap! Not even a, like. It's not even like a, uh, what are they called? The JVC Kaboom boxes from back in the day. It's not even that big. No. It's like a, dude, I'll bet it's, it's the size of a Bose. Yeah, like one of those little. You think it's that small? I bet it's a little dude, I'll bet bigger it's, than that. I'll bet it's no more than a foot in length. Really? Is there, well, it's is a docking have, does station. Does it have dimensions? Where's the docking part of this, of it? Can you zoom in close enough to see where the, no, I where can't. the iPhone would sit on? There's, they, they didn't pay that same There's nothing. Oh. They did, but there's no, there's no. Oh, okay. So it's not really a dock then. Like, look, so it's just yeah, a Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker. Only. Bluetooth, and then it's got uh, RCAs, and then. But like, look at how big the look at how big the RCA jack is in yeah, comparison yeah. Okay. to the rest of it. Fair enough. That thing's twelve inches long. <laughs> twenty four thousand <laughs> dollars. Sound like dog shit. It's two thousand dollars an inch. If you have twenty four thousand dollars to spend on a stereo, call, call Alex me. Roy. Call me. Call Alex. Well, yeah. yeah, or call Alex Roy and get a call real like anybody stereo. All right, I have one more Lamborghini Let's product. Let's do it. It's a shoe. <laughs> they, they paired with Mizuno to make Mizuno. a Lamborghini-branded running shoe. Asus used to have a Lamborghini-branded laptop that was a reasonable $4,000. That's Okay, then we're on I tried to talk my then. old CEO into buying it for me for my like yeah. work laptop. He wasn't having it, though. A jerk. Yeah, right. Anyway, Mizuno. Is that like an expensive brand? No, it's just, it's a pretty standard running shoe. It's probably like a hundred and forty dollars. Like a little. Typically, you can. Is yeah, that somewhere between New Balance and Nike. No, it, it'd be above it's, that. It's, it, yeah, it's, a, it's how like. How dare a, you bring up Nike? This <laughs> Nike's, how dare you? Nike's <laughs> uh, in the running world is a little below that. So you got like your Asics or your. Um, I like that. The Reeboks, Under Armour. Maybe? Under Armour's. Nah, no, not in the running world. Reeboks? No, fuck no. No. We'll just go with Asics, Mizuno. Uh, she, uh, she, oh, she starts with an S. Doesn't matter. I'm Sketchers. 
No, it's like, it's like <laughs> do a lot of running in here. I I give up. This I is give. a running group. <laughs> I gave up that lifestyle when I got this fucking table, and that was when, it. yeah. When he when he claimed this table, <laughs> this is mine. I'm done with this running but, shit. Going back to man, son. But these uh, Mizuno, uh, what are they called? Wave something or other. Come on, Wave Tengen running shoes by Mizuno. If you bought these without the so, Lamborghini logo on it, it would be a hundred or two hundred dollars. Which is okay. So it's where's the Lambo logo anyway. on it? Right on like, can side. I even see it? Right there. That's it. Yeah. Just that Tiny. little like. But this looks like carbon fiber inch. up here. It just just looks like it. But I'll bet the normal one looks like it too. Yeah, for sure. It but looks like has like, more yellow. Is that on like see through? The yeah, the you, sole there is there nothing there? There's nothing there. It's air. That seems springy. Seems dangerous. But because it's got Lamborghini written on it, guess the price. Five hundred bucks. Four fifteen. Yeah. Four fourteen. So it doubles the price to make it black and Pretty have quickly. one Lamborghini logo on it. You know it's how not people black normally? No, they're like different bright colors. Oh, running, okay. running shoes are almost always bright colors. You know oh, how people right. are about limited edition sneakers, though. That's like Jesus. they'll buy they'll buy the wrong size just to have them. Yeah. So stupid. Doesn't mean it's not dumb. I'm just saying I'm not surprised. <laughs> that was actually the most reasonable price thing I saw in there. Yeah, that is definitely for Lamborghini. That would what I I would call that cheap. <laughs> for that website, four hundred dollars. Jeez, for that website, I would call that cheap. That might be the cheapest thing. Oh, here we got we got the high res. Ooh. Oh, oh man. Oh, it doesn't even design a car fiber look. It's just it's terrible. It's a weird pattern. Just pattern. Oh, they're just kind of gray. Oh, that's a Mizuno three. Yeah, they're just kind of so gray black, with a little bit of yellow. Black with some. There's literally no special materials. It's all the same as the other shoe. It's so but dumb. it says automobile Lamborghini, Lamborghini on the back. That's it. That's it. Four hundred. It doesn't bucks. even like look like an Aventador or anything like all the others. But stuff. it has vents. It's got some venting. I mean, venting, I guess. Um, like the open sole. What, what's that called? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't it looks, it, yeah, I used to know. <laughs> Cardio, get out of here. Yeah, get the hell out of here. All right, I got one last one. Oh, it sounds and like I it's saved, a ringer. I saved it. It sounds like it's a ringer because I know how you guys feel about Harley Davidson. Oh, I didn't even think to go through Harley Davidson. Oh my stuff. god! What the? F- we could do a whole episode on we that. We can come back to that. Yeah, yeah we, we can come back to that. But uh, you can do this one. So this one, because I wanted to just pick one. <laughs> was that like the hardest thing? Oh my <laughs> god! What the? Is that a fuck piggy is bank? That? <laughs> That's, That's amazing. A, it's a ceramic That's gas amazing. tank looking piggy bank with a hog pig face oh my with ears on the front. That's the greatest marketing thing of all time. So it, yeah, it's ceramic. Um, it's got the ugly pig face, and it has like the gas cap on top where you put your money in. I assume it's yep. got a hole in the bottom to get your money out. And it says Harley Davis on the side. It's teardrop shaped like a gas Looks tank. Looks like a tank. Black with gold and, and a little bit of red outline on Dude, the Harley Dude, they sell Davidson. so many of as those. Mi- as much as I hate this, if they miss this, they should be fired. Is it called a hoggy bank? <laughs> I don't want to show off the price. <laughs> it's Hog Bank. It's Damn it. It's Put the Y on it. G-Y. Hog Throw it bank. on the Hog Bank. Oh, that's super funny. As much as I hate it, he says. It's too <laughs> funny, but I'm going to say it anyway. It, that is like marketing wet dream. Like people go to college and like, oh, gonna, uh, this is going to be my big break. It's called the- They're on the shark. Uh, the the or shark tank. What the the hoggy bank. Show between, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're going to sell a metric fuck ton of these absolutely this is gonna be under every christmas tree of every yeah. hog guy and every hog kid hoping to have a bike one day what's the ceramic piggy bank cost 250 bucks <laughs> okay you're a little high i saw i saw the price it's like 44 dollars. 45 dollars that seems reasonable How free sh- free shipping oh. with 50 dollar purchase oh that's <laughs> insulting that's of insulting I'm in the market for a piggy bank for my kid. Maybe I'll look into it. Forty-four dollar hog bank. Yeah, it's got forty-eight five-star reviews. No, wait, wait, wait. It's got five reviews with a four point eight. Sorry, somebody oh, okay. was disappointed the, in yeah. there. Four point eight. So, <clears throat> Jesus Christ! It's you know what? I'll give them credit where credit is due. It's pretty creative. It's kind of. It funny. could be worse. I don't. I don't hate it. I'm gonna send them an email about that hoggy bank though. I'm, <laughs> Hog kind, of, kind of disappointed. Let's trademark that first. You guys oh, yeah, can by the way, you got to pay it. But. And I got the Instagram handle, so suck it. <laughs> <laughs> it only comes in black. Of course. Well, I mean. Yeah, it's not going to come in like red. It's gonna be, yeah, it's not going to be Blue. pink or something like, like a normal pig. Lame. All right, that's all I got. 
Should we go back to some of my stuff here? Some, I got a couple more, right? Um, yep. Uh, back to Lamborghini. Yep. Uh, which, if oh, anybody's so bored, just go to Lamborghini's website. Lamborghinistore.com. And, go to store and uh, prepare to be offended. No, I, I think, think I think what needs to happen on the group this week this is that people need to find a product and then create the story behind the person who bought the product. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Make I want those posts because it's, it's literally my new favorite thing. <laughs> I'm I'm super in love with it. Now this next one, if you're looking up the jacket, this person does not exist. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly there's one person. <laughs> this guy that's standing right here, who's wearing the jacket, like from this distance, it looks like Starry Night or something. Is yeah. that all a bunch of like that? Or he looks bulls? like it's a horrible lint on his jacket. Yeah, they're, they're not even logos. Are they bulls? No, they're just triangles. What? Let's see if I can get the zoom to work. Three pointed thingies. Yeah, they're like Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, what? So, so it's a Lamborghini black jacket with triangles on it. It says it says Lamborghini on the logo inside the jacket, though. But it does. Is it suede? But, uh, you know, I don't it's know. Wool, it's wool. I'm going to pull it up. It's probably some horrible, horrible it's, it's acrylic, be, but let's take a look here. It's got to be wool. I bet that it's a designer that did it, though. Like I'm sure that it is. There's a matching a, this is awful. There's a matching polo uh, ten, if you really want to look like a says you can like buy a, a special edition Huracan with that interior in it. The, the, that black fabric would be nice, probably. They call it the golden Y. The golden Y. Yes. Why? It's exactly yes, great. Exactly. It's a golden. It's, a it's the gold. Question. It's cotton. It's, so it's meant it's to be worn cotton. in summer. <laughs> it's not even an expensive material. <sighs> Jesus. It's not like silk. No, no, it's cotton. Uh, they're calling it uh, the event suit. Which event? Uh, it would be an event if this person was walking around wearing this. Can, I'm pretty sure you would bet, be mugged. I'll bet somebody wore that last week at Monterey. They, yeah, oh, it's possible. Yeah. And it, he was the highest of fashion. Designed to meet the needs of men for special occasions and social events. Okay. Any, it doesn't any, even look like it fits quite right. No, it definitely doesn't fit that guy right. <laughs> <laughs> any guesses on what that... Stupid it's half off for the record. Oh. Yeah, it is on summer sale. sale. They're on the summer sale. sale. I'm going to go with two hundred dollars. No. Okay, try again. <laughs> <laughs> the stereo was twenty four thousand dollars. Okay, get your mind right. Even half, it. half off. Let's go. Even at half eight hundred dollars. Okay, so it was originally seven hundred. Oh my! So three seven hundred dollars. Three forty seven. Right now. But you get free, you get free shipping. Free, you get free shipping, fifty percent oh, well, off for the golden Y blazer. I'll take that and the radio, please. <laughs> that's that's a lifestyle right there. Yeah, dude, absolutely. <laughs> Sitting around in that blazer. No, I don't. I don't have. I can't come up with a good story as to the person who. Bought no, no, this. nobody same, would. It's, nobody it's would the buy the same this. guy as the guy that got the stereo. Chet, I don't think he would buy this. <laughs> Lance, either. Lance, Lance bought this. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, Lance did. If it was a Lamborghini do rag, Lance would have bought sure. it. All right, let's look you know, at... Do you know how many Harley Davidson D-Rigs there are? <laughs> oh, a billion. So a billion. All of them. They're $43 a piece. <laughs> They've sold more D-Rags than motorcycles for sure. So I've got two pieces, oh, of, yeah. two pieces of luggage here, um, and we can pull up both in any order. Let's hide the prices. Um, oh, I'll, I'll see what just, I can do. You don't just wanted, need to hide the prices. I can't read that. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, here. just bring it up. Um, so... Lamborghini luggage. It's carbon fiber, carbon of course. Fiber, it's, uh, Good. Love it. It's actually not the worst looking piece of luggage. I no, figured it had spikes it's coming out of it. Pretty or, standard. It's just got a nice luggage. It's got a leather uh, Lamborghini logo glued to it, and the rest is just carbon fiber with but, some silver latches. Is it like really shitty cheap casters on the bottom of it? Mm. Well, yeah, you can't have nice casters. Do you think they're cheap? Nah, they're cheap they're casters. all right. They're nah, they look they look they like look they're decent. like aluminum even. Yeah, I think they're they're really not the worst in the world. Um, that that really makes it or breaks it for me. And they swivel, so you could push it in any direction. That's nice. That is so you nice. Can, yeah. Somebody, somebody put their time into making this. Uh, Twenty working days to get this. Uh, it's That's not so bad. Handcrafted and entirely finished in Italy. Uh, oh. Four wheel casters, like you said. Telescopic handle does all the normal uh, luggage things. Things. luggagey garbage. Uh, it's forty three by seventy by twenty seven, which I assume is in European. Um, holds seventy five. Those have to be 40. centimeters. Centimeters? centimeters, yeah. Okay, I don't know what that. Uh, is. Capacity is seventy-five. This is America. That helps. Um, <laughs> seventy-five what? Seventy-five liters. Hamsters. <laughs> Milliliters. You can put seventy-five hamsters in there, no problem. <laughs> Quite comfortably. <laughs> That's a standard unit of this volume for Europeans. This is Europeans. an IKEA. 
That's a standard. No, 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 no. That is a, that has been a standard volume measurement for Europeans so is that, for centuries. Is that Richard Hammond's or is that no, the no, no, little no? It's, adorable it's pet. normal hamsters. That's oh, just okay. a coincidence okay. that he's European and, and they small. measure volume in hamsters. It's a standard standard hamster. Okay. Yep. It's good to know. Uh, it's, it has some. Yeah. Uh, it. That's it. It's just a carbon <laughs> fiber suitcase. Uh, now, do you want to show, show the other one real quick? There's another carbon. There's two of these carbon fiber suitcases. That, you can get them in different sizes. Oh. So I assume that this would be like a. There was another link on there. If you're, it doesn't. Oh, they, I only open one Lamborghini. Let's be honest. Link. They look the same. Okay. One's one, bigger one, than one, one, one holds 125 hamsters. That's oh, okay. the only. Once the ca- one goes in the overhead compartment, and right, one has right. to get ah, checked. Right. Ah, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be. Uh, I want to say. Five thousand dollars. That's really optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's if they had a seventy-five percent off sale. <laughs> what? Actually, this isn't part of the sale. How much is it? Well, well this one is eleven thousand. <laughs> the seventy-five hamster one is eleven thousand. Get, get and out I checked, of here! And I checked. It is in U.S. dollars. Get out of here! Eleven thousand. <laughs> Eleven. That's not a terrible car. <laughs> it's not the worst. Dude, car. That's more than all the cars I own combined. <laughs> oh, Are you kidding wait. me? The other one, the other one that holds, and I just checked 128 hamsters. Okay. It's a remarkably that's another fifty percent. That's a lot more hamsters. If that if you 000. are a traveling hamster salesman, that's probably gonna be your go to. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh it's guinea pigs at that point. Well, I mean it's whatever. That's a different measurement. They use that in Spain, it's kinda weird. But that's eighteen thousand dollars. Jesus uh, Christ! For something that a TSA agent will catapult across <laughs> the tarmac at the luggage trolley. I mean, they will shot put you, that. You shit. get to watch the, that thrown on. Right, the, you'll be getting on the airplane. And you'll see. You'll literally see a TSA guy throwing it across the tarmac, landing in with a bunch of poor people's luggage, <laughs> and you will go. Is that just such a forty dollar bag? Fuck Get me. out of here! Why did I do this to myself? There's no scenario where you could use this bag <laughs> and not no, feel not bad about it. Ze- you can't even put it. You couldn't you'd, take it to a hotel. You'd ha- you'd have to have it in your private plane, yeah, like to your luxury guys, suite. Like, hey, watch if you it. scuff That's that. I swear to God, swear to God. At least God. It, at least it won't break. Being carbon fiber, yeah, it'll just uh, just explode. It'll just crack. Well, yeah, if if it it hits that bad, when the when yeah, when the airport worker guy shot puts it, it'll just (laughs) explode, and all of your Gucci whatever is just gonna (laughs) blow all over the tarmac, and that'll be it. Meanwhile, the poor guy from you know Toronto, he's got his normal luggage that he bought from TJ Maxx. It's holding together great. My nine dollar carry on (laughs) is fine. Is the best. (laughs) I just want to make a note here, Uh, with the exception of my house. The most expensive thing I've ever bought costs the same as that piece of luggage. <laughs> well, you could have had the Audi or you could have had that. Yeah. Those are your two options. I'm just saying. No, I get it. I'm with you. I bet they don't finance that either. Oh, no, no, no. That is a cash sale. So I That's couldn't a, have had that. Amex Black. I could not yeah, have you had put, that. Yeah, you could put it on a, on a really good credit card or a really bad credit card when I look at it. A little bit of both, frankly. Yeah. All right, I got one more, and uh, frankly, this is the winner. This is the pinnacle. This is the, the pinnacle of stupid shit that you can spend your money on. That the has, last thing, the last thing that I have is thing has we're branding on it. To purchase, I would like so. to see if Adam even knows what that is. That picture is that a watch? That it boy. actually is a watch. It is. A it watch. doesn't look like a normal watch. So is it like one of those that, like, certain things light up to tell you what time it is? No, and you like have to spend. No, by the time you figure out what time it is, it's changed. Uh, yes, definitely. It's incredibly difficult to read. It is a hublé. 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 Is that H U B L O T? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. it looks like Hublot. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, they they sponsor race cars. They do. Don't they make the hydraulic watch? Uh, no, that's uh, I don't remember the name of that company. That's it's three. It, 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 it kind of looks like this. So that's cool. Why. It's three letters. So cool. All right, I'll not pull it up. Yeah, it's a wristwatch that's run hydraulically. Yeah, it's got. It's actually got. So it's it's a mechanical watch. I can't remember if that's got a rotating rotor in it. No, I think you hand wind that. Anyway, it's got a mainspring that powers a series of gears that moves um, basically uh, cylinders yeah. to to pump fluid through the watch to tell you what time it is. It looks so cool. It looks very steampunky. Yeah, HYT. It's but HYT. That's what it is. Yeah, good one. I yeah, I, said, I can't find the one I remember. Look up seeing. HYT. Are we starting another podcast right one. now? Yeah, that's the one I want. Uh I think it's HYT. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. 
Yep. Will you guys just like blow my mind with crazy co- wa- cool watches? Isn't this one's like forty four thousand? Yeah, that one's in the in the fifty thousand dollar range. Yeah, I think that's it. No, what, I remember it's one. The one original. that I liked that's was not it, like fifty thousand dollars. Yep. I think this might be that one. It's perfectly reasonable for that level of engineering and the fact that you can't buy that anywhere else. I, I get it. I can understand fifty thousand um, dollars on that for the Hublin. If that's <laughs> your deal, I will say as a wa- as as a watch, technically it is fairly amazing it's got like a 50 day power reserve which is you know on a normal watch 50 hours would be a lot okay on a mechanical watch like a like a mechanical mainspring wound whether like it's hand wound hand, hand wound or one that's got a rotor in it like this one that i'm wearing the seiko um 50 days would be out of control insane like nobody makes a watch <laughs> that lasts 50 days it's too easy but um <laughs> i mean we keep talking we talk about the technical aspects we can talk about uh, you know, silicon. let's just get down to the yeah, brass okay. nuts here, though. Uh, what's it? What's so the it watch made out of? you can't read. It's made out of uh, synthetic sapphire. The whole thing. What? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I was just joking about that being a ridiculous thing. That's that's more ridiculous than I could have ever dreamed. So the whole thing's made out of sapphire, so you can see through it. You can see all the oh mechanics my of it. God. Um, I have a watch that's called sapphire, but it's made out of tungsten. That's that not makes, even cool, right? Know, that makes super, sense. Just, super why would you even mention that? Just, just to let you know how common I am compared to this watch. I don't even own a watch, so... Everyone should wear a watch. It's La Ferrari branded. Oh, Jesus Christ. So you're kind of at the upper echelon of people with money. Wait, 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 wait. So you have a non-hybrid watch for a hybrid car? It's got a battery in it. It's hybrid. Do want no, to? there's no battery. Yeah, I was going to say, it's autom- It's a... Oh. Oh. It's a mechanical watch. <laughs> yeah. Watch the video. <laughs> Oh no! You just shake your wrist until it works, and then it stays running. That, guy at, the, that guy at the fair is pounding out meat. This is his watch. Yeah, yeah. You don't need batteries. Save money. Any guess on what this thing costs? This monstrosity. I want to guess. It's giant synthetic sapphire. You can't read the time. How do you read the time? There are two wheels on the outside that say the. I'm looking at it up close. Wait, I still it's can't even read it. It's, it's no. It's so ridiculous it's, it's, you can't it's, even tell. It says forty five on the top left and it says ten on the on the. Well, I think top one's right. hours and minutes and seconds, and then I'm not sure what the other thing is. I realize that doesn't help, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't help the way I the, the way I read this right now, it says forty five ten, so it's ten forty five with seconds on the bottom, and the, I don't know what the fourth one is. Date? No, the dates on the other, on the bottom bottom because it's oh. the thirtieth according no, to this one. No, because that goes there's. Three wheels that tell some form of time or date that have more than 30 numbers on them. What? You see, there's a wheel at the bottom below the logo. Yep. And it goes 25, 30, 35, 40. So that's got to yeah, be that, seconds. Yeah, it has to be. So I assume this might be a chronograph, which means you can time stuff with it. Uh, Good luck actually being able to no see way. that. In any way, accurately. So, okay, guess is on price. They sponsor F1. $154,000. They sponsor F1. I think they, they they sponsor something enough. Yeah, I something. Um, they will, so that should give you a Ferrari. clue on what it costs. I don't even know so, where to start. Two hundred grand. Adam's closer. <sighs> it's three hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. That's a nice house. That's a really <laughs> that's nice a house. Really, that's three of my houses. That's, a, that's more expensive than that, a Ferrari. What's the one that they're doing now? Four eight eight. You could have a Ferrari four eight eight for that money. I'd rather have a 488 in any color. I'd rather have just about anything on the planet <laughs> that costs less than that. Yeah. Or Can you imagine? Priced. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the $345,000 to piss away <laughs> on a watch. <laughs> on a watch. Just coming from like a guy who's like, watches are like I, top I, I, three favorite things in yeah, the world. Absolutely. Uh, well, yeah. But I've I spent more money on a watch than I would care to admit, and that is so. Stupid at talk? any income level. Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> We're opening up a lot. Of I'm up. To, I'm. I'm. We shared about my previous life with yeah, we getting did. this table. We did. You know, I'm. I'm an open book. Yeah, I know. The fans. If anybody's it. really interested in watches, they can DM me. I'll tell them what I have. <laughs> or next week when we start our watch podcast. When we start the watch podcast. Then yeah. Can't be any worse than Ferris. Oh. What do you call his? Watch and listen. Watch and listen. Is that what it was called? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think so. so the thing, lame. the thing that sucks is uh, 
Cameron Weiss is like a really nice guy. Yeah, dude, he's yeah. super cool. He's a really really nice guy, really knowledgeable. His brand is cool. As soon Car as guy. I can like Sounds cool. scrounge together the money, I would love to own one of his watches, even if I don't keep it. How much to have it? one? Uh, I think they're I think they're depends like. on what you want to spend. I think you spend like eleven hundred to twenty two hundred maybe. Like that's a lot, but at the same time it seems reasonable. For what you get for what you get, it's yeah, for like a handmade almost. Yeah, real you limited know, like, quantities. Yeah, absolutely. Seems perfectly reasonable. Much more reasonable than three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I wouldn't spend that on that. How many of those exist? Did you ever? Did they? I say don't know it? if it says for sure. The but same I'm gonna number guess 10. as the LaFerraris. I wonder if you get one when you buy a LaFerrari. No, it's too expensive for that. Huh. But this is like all they do. Hublot. Hublot. That's like all they do is make ridiculous these. watches. Yeah. That you can't read? That you, and you can't afford. Well, somebody can, or else they wouldn't be a company. It's all it's smoke a, and mirrors. It's a front. I mean, they're sponsoring Formula One. they got to be doing something, Well, there's right? money coming in, but we don't know where. Drugs. I think that's fair. Smart. <laughs> it's just amazing that this much money exists out in the ether, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's hard to understand. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that's it. That's all no, I got. I got one more. Oh, you got oh, one? Oh, oh, shit. shit. That's right. Things, things we're actually going to buy. Okay. So uh, so I decided I would have fun with this a little bit. I went out and found... Do you care what order? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Enjoy. I went out on uh, eBay, and I found us each uh, the best I could anyway. <laughs> I'm glad this one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, is it labeled? Do you jackets. Know what's mine? Vintage jackets. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Do you have the... Do you have the uh, so I've got prices, what's that say? and I've got the description. Peter for, So it's... Uh, here, I'll read the description. Stewie Up for Bissant. auction is an amazing piece of smoking history. Okay. It's a smoking a, jacket. A Peter Stewie Stewie Vassant. Stewie Vassant. Filter sports jacket made by, made in Italy by Spot. Did he send this on the group? No. Oh shit. I've tried to find the origin of the jacket, but the closest I can find is that it was possibly tied to Alan Moffat's Mazda racing team. Okay. So that's where the tie comes. That was the only Mazda sports I'll take it. The only For- Mazda related jacket I could find on eBay right now that was of the correct vintage. Hmm. Uh, so it's a smoking it's being jacket, sold, not a racing It's jacket. being sold in uh, in Australia, and the conversion on the buy it now is $143. Can't afford to not buy it. Which is a little high as compared to the other ones that I have on this for Robbie and I. Well, that seems fair. He would get the more expensive jacket. Right, mm-hmm. yeah, that's fine. To go with this fancy watch. Yeah. And his, you and know. his fancy s- smokes he doesn't have, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah, did you find it? No, I can't find it. What was the name of it again? Uh, I Peter just searched. Stewie I just searched v- uh, vintage Mazda jacket on eBay. Okay, and uh, there's only like six results, so it's pretty easy to find. Okay, I'll keep looking. You guys talk. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Australia. Uh, yeah, it's in Australia. Jesus. I tried to tell you. Oh that. my god, that's a terrible looking jacket. It's so a bad. terrible. Oh god, awesome. it's so eighties, dude. It's painfully eighties. I'll post these pictures on the group for Dude, sure. Save some for the rest of these us. Are too yeah, good. no joke. If you wore that jacket in public, my God. <laughs> Just drowning in it. <laughs> it is good awful. Lord. It is Ugh. terrible. It's so cool. What size is it? Um, it's medium? Um, I think they were all relatively appropriately sized for us. That'd be great. So um, I don't know. Well, I may have to contact him and ask him. <laughs> The jacket is in very good condition for its age with some foxing marks on the cuffs and the collar. The print and jacket itself are in excellent condition. The jacket will be boxed and posted to avoid any damage. Oh, feel, XL. Damn it. Feel free to contact me with any questions. XL. Yeah. XL is kind of good for 80s, though. Yeah, it might it might fit you. It's That's not like point. 90s XL. little huge. Yeah. Well, yeah. And also, People were like, smaller I feel like 80s, 80s should Obviously. be a little bit baggy, a little bit big on you. Yeah. This literally really looks like drive it home. a tarp. Like a blue tarp <laughs> that somebody turned into a jacket. It doesn't look like it fits well. <laughs> it looks like so it, ridiculous. it makes it might a be, lot of noise. I assume it's a Lycra wind breaker. Wind, yeah, it might be uh, waterproof. More than your I tent. doubt it. It's a smoking jacket. It's so good, dude. I was pretty excited about it. It's yeah. a really loose tie to Mazda, and I didn't even care. You, <laughs> you need it. <laughs> I'll save it. <clears throat> Next one, Robbie. What are you getting with us? Dodge Boys. All right, so this is mine. Uh, it says... What does it say? Dodge boys have more fun. Have more oh, fun. Oh man, <laughs> that's it's aggressive. A... <laughs> that's aggressive. It's, is this on order right now? It's eighteen dollars. No. Why have you not bought it? I think I might have to. We can use 
I'll even say we could use po- podcast funds for this. <laughs> you, Eight, need, oh. you need this. Dude, there are like droves yeah, of them. There's so many of them. If you search Dodge Vintage, vintage oh, Dodge Jacket. Oh, dude, I wish so you wore hats so bad. I found a snapback <laughs> that is so, like, literally stolen from a oh, truck driver. Same logo. <laughs> stolen from a truck driver. Dodge, like Dodge Boys, Boys have, have more fun, fun on it. Yeah, it does. Oh, and the God. seller, get this, is Junk Dynasty. You yes. Get, you get out of your race car, you take your hat, your helmet off, you throw your hat on, then you go to your to your uh to your pit like interview. Yeah. You know, and you're you know, well uh, the the Coca-Cola Dodge ran really great today. Just <laughs> but the like, whole well, nine yards. A cigarette right? hanging out of the corner of your mouth too. <laughs> oh, you need and a, you had you cut your hair, it would have been perfect. You need a mustache. Whole, I know. I got I got my annual haircut, whether I needed it or not. It's fine. You should have seen so much hair on the ground. It was out of control, you dude. You could have waited a little bit longer and just donated it. It was out of, out of control. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Dodge Boys. They have more have fun. Have more fun. $18. It's a leather jacket. So good, dude. There's no way that's leather. Well, no. It's but it's leather. It's advertised as. Did you order that already? Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Dude, order it. Just order it for him. Yeah, make him he'll wear make it. It. If we I order it, he dude, has. I'll wear that. Are you kidding me? You I'll wear to... that shit to grid life. Oh, get this. It has been sitting in the backseat of a 74 Dodge Challenger <laughs> for the last couple of decades. <laughs> that is. Can you think of something more Mopar than that? <laughs> that is great. So it's it has the logo on the back, like huge. Yeah, it's big. And then is that a... Is, I oh, think that's just that's a zoomed, just a zoomed, zoomed up the, on the back. Yeah, I, I just thought, wanted I to make sure a, you could be able to read the has more fun part. I thought it had the... Um, a breast logo. I don't think. I think it just has a Dodge logo on. I the like breast. that it's big on the back. Yeah. No, it's painfully eighties. It's so good. I found a new. I found our new ten tenth shirt. <laughs> Dodge boys have more fun. Ten tenth boys have more fun. <laughs> Same exact logo. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> Dude, Thomas. we'd sell the people would Call buy Thomas. those. Oh man, we could copy that in no time. All no, right. there's no copyright on that. No, no, no. We're what's, good. What's, it'd, be, it'd be so different. But Robbie, not. hit us with your Nissan jacket. Oh, King of the Hill, class of '95. Oh, Turns out, shit, Robbie's is a '95. That's perfect. I was so proud of it. The problem is, it says like Bill Hill, Ken Miller, Ken, Southwest yeah. Coca Cola bottling. <laughs> yeah. So what? it was. It was <laughs> Coca Cola. I think jacket. he. But it I says think, Nissan. Yeah, I don't know how Nissan got tied in with it. There's a lot of really good Nissan jackets. There are. There was there's a Nismo, ton of really good Nissan like there's jackets. There's Nismo jackets. and Doesn't Travis have some that are like really 80s, 90s? Yeah. yeah. No, there, dude, there's like more of those Super than there are JDM. Dodge on eBay. Yeah, there's, some, really, there's some cool JDM stuff, actually. There was a really sweet BRE one that I almost wanted to buy. You should. I have no need for it. That's fine. That's just close. You'll wear that, it. I would rather buy the Dodge Brothers or the Dodge Boys one. No, you have to. It's, yeah, it's too late. No, I, I don't. You you put it out there in the world, and <laughs> that's showing up at your doorstep, whether you like it or not. I was just really sad that because that Robbie is uh, forty bucks. That's a little high, and that was the probably yeah, I would, I would the pick upper, a different the Nissan. upper end of the expensive one. I think it'd be funny for us to all roll up in like painfully eighties jackets, but I couldn't find one that I was really happy with for Michael that was a reasonable price. There wasn't yeah. like a Marlboro Racing. Not for Mazda. Damn. But if, you, if you do the library, we might be able to get away with it. There was like a Laguna Seca, uh, like racing school one. It said yeah, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca on it. But like that didn't really work either. And it had a name em- embroidered on it, which I didn't really want. You know, there just there wasn't anything good for jackets. Might have to make one. Can we get? Can we sell jackets on the store? No, there aren't any. God, that would be so funny. I could, I'll put in a suggestion. That would be hilarious. Windbreakers. Dude. All right, should we move on? It's gonna be like the longest show we've done in a long time. That's I, all I got. I just want to focus on this. Dodge <laughs> the Dodge Boys have more fun. <laughs> For real. I just want to know who came up with that and went. Yeah, that doesn't sound really stupid. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's great. But dude, think about the time that it was made. Like that's perfectly reasonable. Was that would that have been the same time as that girls have more fun song? That absolutely yes. horrible, horrible, horrible. That's hundred percent. I would say this is like, time. I would say that was mid eighties at at you know mid maybe late eighties. Okay. You know, so it was yeah, the height of that's... of Dodge Omni ins- insanity. Yeah. We're just we're out there having more fun. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> did, you, did you hit by it now? 
I know I didn't. I closed it. <laughs> I'll buy it. He'll get it. Yes. I'll buy it. He'll be fine. I need it. Okay. You do need it. Moving on to the news presented by I Apex Pro. Jackets. Oh, wait. We got to... Yep, you're right. Apex Pro. Apex Pro. There we go. Rabbi's ready now. <laughs> He's on the website. Uh, don't forget, guys, Apex Pro is doing a discount on the suction cup mount if you guys are interested in a unit. Uh, the unit itself is a intuitive track day coach i mean it's pretty straightforward wonderful it gives you immediate feedback while you're on the track you can select tracks that they have in their library or you can make your own like robbie did Uh, yeah even if you don't need to even if you don't need (laughs) to you can make it you can if you choose to make your life more difficult by making your own track that is your decision it's really up to you it's so Um, it's still accurate it's so easy (laughs) you can make it harder for yourself (laughs) which i always do (laughs) but uh, it gives you immediate feedback while you're on track it learns more and more throughout the day so it gives you um, feedback via the LEDs on the the unit and I realized we didn't really talk about how big the unit is it's like the size of it's 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 like a small remote almost it's about the width of a cigarette pack yeah and about as thick as like one and a half cigarette packs yeah it's as thick yeah it's as it's as wide as a cigarette pack and thick as a cigarette pack maybe a little taller yeah maybe a little bit but it's it's really It's, it's not big it's not intrusive, I guess. You're not carrying not around all. this giant data box or anything like that. Um, the windshield mount, if you guys want it, listeners of 10 Tenths Podcast get a 50% discount on that, 10 Tenths Apex at checkout. So if you go to their website, put the unit in there, and then put the suction cup mount in, and then apply that discount, and you'll get that half off the suction cup mount. But you, uh, for the money, I was thinking about, okay, so it's it's around $500. It's a little less than $500. Yes. Um, Real, if you're like a if a track driver, how much money have you spent on stupid shit that you thought was going to make you faster and didn't? Way more than that, right? And this is something. It's not a disposable item like tires or brakes or whatever. Is you can use this in any car. You can use it in your track day car if you're a person that does like rentals. Like yep. if you rent a car from it somebody, you, it gives you the opportunity to share data. So you put somebody, yep. put a friend in there, and they're faster. You can see where or why. Yep. Yep, you get so you get intuitive feedback while you're driving, and then you get actual data after the fact that you can review. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, for the amount of data you get, for the amount of money you spend, it's you don't really compare it to anything else. No, there's Honest, nothing. You'd have to spend a lot more money to get the same amount of data. Yeah, and you'd have to you'd spend a lot more time installing it in your car. So value wise, it's hard to beat. This is this is a great by point. a long shot. Um, yeah, check it out. Apex Pro, ApexTrackCoach.com. That's where you can do your discount. Ten tenths Apex. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, go listen to the episode with Andrew if you great, have more questions. Episode. Or do some. go to the group to check out some of the comments on the group. Just yep. type in Apex Pro. All right, let's do some news. Tesla, the Model 3, owners are complaining that the insurance cost is too high. Which is almost equivalent to a brand new 911. So you can... The insurance cost is basically the same as a 911. Um, I don't... What's the price difference in the car? So, so that statement is kind of dumb. The the part where they compare it to the price of a nine eleven, like I don't know how much that is. Oh no, they gave a, they gave a number. I know they, they did, but like they you they, excuse me, wow, they led with that as like the title. Oh, they I, did. I feel like that was well. Everybody knows that Porsches yeah, are see, expensive. I don't, I don't know what a nine eleven costs to insure, so that's really useless information to me. Well, who yeah. who wrote this? This it's is on the drive. The drive. On the so drive. who knows? This is probably in L.A. Yeah, no, I it guess. is. It is. So the 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 Model Three is about twenty eight hundred dollars a year, and the nine eleven is about twenty eight fifty a year. Right. That's a lot. Is that are they priced even remotely the same? Uh, they should depends. be. That's the other the thing. The nine eleven should be approaching a hundred grand, and then the I think they're over a hundred now. And then the Model Three is supposed to, supposed to be your thirty five thousand to right sixty thousand dollar car. Yeah, I think that's probably reasonable. But so the the big problem with them, the reason they're so expensive, is uh, it's really hard to get parts if you do crash it, and you have to go to a Tesla place, Same. certified whatever, whatever. And since they don't have a dealership network, You're that up, could be anywhere up a creek. So. It's driving up costs because it's it's difficult and expensive to repair. Well, Tesla had their own insurance through uh, <laughs> whatever the hell it was, but it was like double the price. Yeah, because obviously. That's and Elon idea. Musk said he's working on it on Twitter. I don't think he did. No, he did. He doesn't on understand Twitter. what these poor people are talking about. What do you mean? It's, I afford that fine. It's a big deal. I spent more than that on a watch last week. Yeah, 
He spent more than that on dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't picture him as being like the exuberant. Are you kidding me? That dude makes like billions of dollars a year. I know he does, but I don't picture him being like the wild, I bet he out of control it. spending. I bet. Of course, he, he does a have a bunch of you know what? stupid stuff. I take that back because he bought a McLaren F1 back when they were new. Yeah. So I take that back. He spends big money on stupid shit. Yeah. He's not like the Facebook guy who was like driving around in a Golf GTI like not that long ago. Yeah. He's worth $11 billion and he he drives a GTI. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Model S costs about $3,500 a year, which would be similar to an R8. And I would probably rather have the R8. The, sure. the problem is it's a it's a it's like a normal car. It's like a car. It's just a car. It's a car that they want normal people to buy, but right. it doesn't cost normal amounts to insure. That's it's supposed thing, to yeah. be just a normal car. Yeah, both of them are. I mean, it's supposed to be like a S class or a C class. Right. So the Model Three should be more in like you know the half of what it costs to insure it. Yeah. Annually. Yes. And that might even still be a little rough. Yeah, but I thought it was funny that owners were claiming that they were going to return it. I'd be like, "Are you re- are you really that pissed? Are you that pissed off about it?" I think that some people who are buying these, especially if they're specking them up, that's probably in the upper end of what they can afford to buy for a car. And then they're they're just they, assuming it's going to cost went, the same oh. as their Outback that they just traded in. And then they find out, shit, son. This thing's triple what my Outback cost to insure every month. I can't do this. You don't have what do you have? You don't have a choice at that point. No. No, you don't. You either free up that cash by getting rid of something else, or you get rid of the car and go back and get your Subaru again. Yeah. So those are your options. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. I um I insure three cars for that for money. about that for yeah. Yeah. half that. Yeah. Yes. That's R- yeah. It's crazy. It's too much. <laughs> Just to put that out there. AAA claims that Teslas have higher claim rates than other brands. Maybe. Just and I would I would imagine there's a crashing into shit. I would imagine there's a stigma too that people are assuming that no one's paying attention when they're using the uh, autopilot. Probably. They're probably trying to cushion some of the blow if something really bad did happen. Which in, which well. I can understand. And they may not have enough information to properly price what it costs to ensure all the Model 3s in the world. You know what I mean? Right. They don't have that actuarial table because it doesn't exist. Right. But $3,500 to insure an S sounds That's nuts. A That's a lot That's of freaking money. money. Yeah. I, mean, I know you're saving on gas, but holy God. Not that much. That's where they really get God. you. Holy also God. paying more for power, so. Yes, plus the install of the charger thing and all that nonsense. I Things to take into consideration. The nickels and dimes, that's for sure. The Volt is 25% cheaper to insure. Which is still kind of expensive. It still, still kind of expensive. It seems way too much. Well, I would imagine if something goes wrong, it really goes wrong. Yes, and I'd be curious to know what a Prius costs to insure. But, you know, that's been around no, for yeah, a Yeah, no one's time. ever complained about that. Yeah, but, you know, Prius Are Prius owners, owners allowed to complain about their cars? Yeah. I feel like they can't. They probably sign a document. Even oh. if Even if they hate it, they have to love it. This is a great car. Ever. I think that's why they're pushing the design off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced it's a joke. Yeah, no, I think it, I think they're like, how far can we? How push ugly this can we make this before the people sales go? Okay, tank. I'm not gonna buy it anymore. Like I think there's like exi- people are bought into exist. this, and we're like, yeah, hey, we're just gonna make it really stupid because they're gonna buy it anyway. Especially since you can buy like a Camry. Yeah, hybrid. Which you can buy a Camry with the Prius drivetrain in it, and it's a great looking car. I it's, like the Camry. It's fine. That's awesome. I, like the I think it gets a small percentage less miles imagine. per gallon because it's not quite as aerodynamically efficient, but it's pretty negligible and certainly not enough for me to say, nope, still need the Prius. <laughs> still want that nasty-looking arachnid thing over there. I was in a, I don't even remember what kind of Prius it was, if it was a regular one or a C. Uh, I would matter. rock a C. I was in, that's I why. I said it. Why? Because I think it's hilarious. It's tiny. You know what? I, okay, so I should preface this. I would turn a C into an autocrosser. Put Hoosiers on it, have them sticking like way out all the way around, just do like stupid, ridiculous things to it. I guess. Short wheelbase, I think it'd handle all right with the right work. Got all that torque fill. Be great. 
Ringer car. <laughs> Somebody wants to sponsor that. Get a hold of Adam. Yeah, please do. That's a weird. Well, who knows? Anyway, my point was, <laughs> I was in a in a Uber and I was doing. I was in a Prius. You actually Uber places. I, I had to because the Genesis dealership was driving me nuts. That's a different story for a different day. <laughs> oh, we should definitely. Why do does this car spend so much time at the dealer? It doesn't. It's just I can't just that fucking one, get it. The there. one time. The one time I had to go in there was the most inconvenient thing in my entire life. So I went to go get it with an Uber uh-huh. because they wouldn't bring it back to you. It's a whole other issue. That's that's another. They were supposed to have a fucking car for me to drive. <laughs> That's a different problem. Right, let's, let's take a time out from the news. <laughs> that's, that's a dealership issue that I either have to deal with or work on it myself. Probably just end up working on it myself when the time comes. I understand. Anyway, so I'm in the Uber, and I'm in the Prius whatever. That is the worst fit and finish I've ever seen on any car in my entire I could not believe how garbage the inside of that car is. Really? Terrible. All they're, the more reason to turn it into a race car. Yeah, so they're, they're mirror or whatever. What's their uh, hydrogen car? I can't think of the name. Yeah, you're oh, close. Yeah, some Mira? ridiculous. No, that's a Lamborghini. Mine. Oh yeah, that's right. Anyways, I wasn't kind of impressed with their interiors. It wasn't bad. No, it was just hot garbage. Like everything was <laughs> hard, hard, like scratchy, like that plastic where they don't they don't cut the edges right. You know what I mean? It's oh, like got, a like, scion. Shit. Yeah, it was like a scion on the inside. My Ooh. grandma's got an Avalon, and it's a really nice car. The Avalon's great. Yeah. It's a really nice. I think car. the Camry's really nice. Camrys are nice. That's why I also think that the Prius is a joke because I can't. Like, yeah. I'm like you paid money to sit in this and it's worse i'm paying money to sit in it for 10 minutes and i'm upset you might get a worse rating from me just because <laughs> you have a pre like don't i just it's just something to think about anyway shall we move on yeah gm claims they have a new charger that is uh well it'll charge the car in a reasonable amount of time it'll that'll charge get- it'll charge the car in a road road trip stop it'll give yeah. you 180 miles of range in 10 minutes yes I think that that is reasonable to yes. ask. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't. I mean, it's not. It's still. I've spent a lot more than ten minutes in a gas station, especially with a two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, one hundred eighty miles, depending on what I've eaten. Every three hours, let's say. Yeah, depending on what I've eaten. Especially when you eat uh, gas station chalupas, like we, when we went to. <laughs> they were delicious. When we went to. Uh, they were good tor- life. They were called tornadoes. Tornadoes. They were tornadoes. Michael. Tornado. I have that that video. I think is saved on our Instagram stories, like the ones that you can highlight. I don't think it's. I don't think it's saved. I, no, I think it is. I Dude, I saved it. Did you trip. delete it? I'm pretty sure I deleted it. That's Why did you bad. delete it? I don't remember. I don't, I don't think it stayed. That was part of the story. That was highlight. The first, it was a highlight. It was a highlight. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. And it, it was you eating the gas station chalupa. And tornado. then tornado. tornado. It's and not even it's kind a, of like a, and then we it's cut, a taquito. And then we cut to, dude, most Mexican food is just like refried beans, beef, it's, and cheese. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was beef and cheese. Wrapped it was awesome. in a tortilla. It was so fried. good. That's all it was. What was the other thing that you could have gotten? There was some breakfast item in there that was brutal. <laughs> it was like a jalapeno <laughs> something or other. Jalapeno breakfast burrito, maybe? Yeah, I didn't want and that. And he yeah. was not willing to try it. You're eating the tornado right now. God, there. it looks delicious right now. <laughs> I would eat that right now. Robin, let's go to a gas station after this and get a meal. Quick Trip has like the best of those tornadoes. Dude, you could go to Quick Trip and like order stuff to be made. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Quick Trip's my Dude, favorite. Dude, they're, they're. I'm not going to say it in Iowa. Quick Trip's not my favorite. Their breakfast burrito there. is massive. Like a real burrito? Like a, like a burrito burrito? Yeah. Oh. So much food, dude. If you go and order it, it's huge. Man. Huge. Huge. I don't it's think anybody's stuff. listening to this podcast anymore. No, somebody's on. like on the group. There's like, like one, typing. There's one guy like, Dude, left. love the Quick Trip burritos. So They're good. great. Uh, but did you look into the details on this charger thing? A so little. Always, uh, first of all, it's called the Extreme Fast Charger. Yeah. <laughs> Ultra Extreme. <laughs> it's Extreme. So that's either... Uh, extreme. Maybe that's a great you name. You gotta throw up the X. No, no, no. It's, it's XFC. It's not oh. EFC. It's XFC. So it's, well, yeah, uh, X for Extreme. It's Extreme, yeah, it's like inline... Skating and well, uh, watch yourself. X Games. I'm serious. Yeah, I know. Uh, so the charger won't be ready till 2020. In the car, to use the charger won't be ready till 2023. So oh, uh, this is a pipe Thank dream. You. This is not a real thing. No. So by then, everybody else <laughs> somebody else will figure it out. them, right? So, so GM just put out a press yeah, release but, about nothing. Yeah, yeah, so they have a it's pretty standard. They compare Tesla. Has have you six, seen our pool tables? Six miles per minute of charge. Porsches is uh, about 12 and a half. And then GM is supposedly 18 miles per minute of charge. 
with this. So so okay. far, right now, Porsche is winning, which is interesting. GM doesn't exist. GM can or uh, Porsche came out with some hybrids. Mercedes came out with some electric vehicles. It's uh, game's going to be changing the next couple of years. I think time to keep, try to tr- uh, t- time to try to keep up Tesla. There's yeah, a lot of T's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you did that on purpose. sucks. Ugh. All right, moving on. Okay. A 2002 M5 sells for $176,000. God, I hope the comet is coming. Please put this world to an end. It has to be coming, right? This is the time <laughs> there, of the apocalypse, uh, There's right? got to either be the worst recession that we've ever seen in our entire lives, making 2008 look like a joke. I mean, like people no, rioting the in Great the streets. Great Depression. It's right. coming. It's coming. Two. The yeah. sequel. Or, Round two. Or. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Or... Uh, the second coming of Christ, depending on what you believe in, or uh, just straight up a comet to put Cthulhu, us out of our maybe? fucking misery. How in God's name could you have so, so much fucking money that you could piss away almost $200,000 on a 16-year-old BMW? But it has 437 miles. That sounds I like a good reason to spend a less shit. money. Yeah. I would rather it have 10 times the miles. Oh, yeah. I'd rather it have... 43,000 miles on it. I would much rather have a 2002 BMW M5 with 437,000 miles on it. <laughs> that is a car that I could do something with. Alex Royce probably has pretty close to that. I think probably, it's the same yeah. gen, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same yeah, car. It's the same, same gen. I think his is a 99. Is Somewhere in there. I can't remember. Uh, I just don't understand how you've... It's fascinating. I don't understand how... I could be where I am in my life and not have $176,000 to piss away. <laughs> like, how do you go through life making decisions where you get to the point where you go, I have $200,000 laying around, I'm going to piss it away on a 16-year-old BMW and not have made a bunch of other really stupid decisions in your yeah, life you, to have you, ruined you've yourself. You've made good enough decisions to have that kind right. of money. I don't, under, like, good decision, yep, good things, make, good things are happening for you, it's all coming together, all that money's gone. <laughs> <laughs> What person is this? There's many of them. That's the there are thing. because it was an auction. So there's at least two. <laughs> there's at least two morons out there running around. No, there's three because there was that other moron that spent what a hundred and nine thousand or something on the Avant version. You remember that? That seems a little bit. That seems too much too. I'm not <laughs> yeah. gonna, I, was, I was about to defend that and change my mind. Well, the, another weird thing is that the guy that originally owned this bought this in 2002 as a collector item and then bought another one to drive. So he said two. This one just sat. This is the second he, one. Then he paid to maintain it in a climate-controlled environment in California for 16 years. And you're like, oh. You know what? He sold it for that much money. He probably still didn't make no, dick it, for profit. No, it was a six percent interest rate. Yeah, somebody. No, it wasn't even that. Somebody did the math. So if you took seventy thousand dollars in two thousand two, invested it at six percent compound rate of return, that's two hundred and forty thousand dollars. <laughs> and that doesn't include the maintenance costs, which would have right. been like and they, you, they estimated it like sixty grand. And if you put that money in a bond, it's it, it's, it's guaranteed. You, you, just, you didn't do. It's just the money's there. Like yep. There's the you paid for the bond, the brokerage fee, whatever. Okay, now you're done. It's, and there's it, the money. You'll get this, it back. It's not like a stock where it could crash and right. you don't get any back. It's this, guaranteed. You're f- fucked because you, you have to keep <laughs> us. You have to like if you accidentally rub against it. Yeah, it was worthless. Now what's don't it scratch worth? Scratch it. You can't scratch it. No. You can't no, drive it. Not no. Or, yeah, you can't if you have non-original paint on it. Yeah. It's worthless. But like the person who, what's the person who bought it now? What's he gonna do with it? Same thing. It's just gonna sit in storage. He can't drive it. You know what? If I was if if I was filthy rich, I'd buy the watch from earlier. (laughs) The the watch. I'd buy that, and then I go buy. I would go buy this BMW, and on the way out of the auction house, I'd do the biggest burnout (laughs) anybody has ever seen on those dry dry rotted tires fall off, and then when it was sitting on the wheels, I'd get out, lock the door call a tow truck and go home in my McLaren and I would <laughs> laugh at the guy that owned it. That's that's the dream. That's I, what I that is the only like that like this this is all he does. He does this every weekend. He just comes in and he buys the most expensive car we have here. He does a burnout in it and he no, leaves it in the parking lot. Not necessarily the most expensive, just the just, lowest mileage. Just yeah, the one that everyone's trying to collect. Like the I one the one that that someone clearly bought as an investor. Right. I want people call like people call like hey, we got the 68 Camaro. It's got 565,000 miles on it. It is a Copo, um, and, we, and we think it's probably going to go for about $1.2 million. Would you be interested in it? Yeah, put my name down for that. I'm in. 
It's all original. All the parts are there. Great. <laughs> original tires, even. That's not ideal. I'll bring my own tires, but we'll figure it out when I get there. I'll bring a remember, tire changing machine. Remember that Viper that was here in town? That they were proud of the fact that they had the original tires on it. Was it the f- first gen? Yeah, or, I think so. Uh, yeah, 1,300 miles, original tires. In 2017. 16, 2016. No. Hell no. Nope. That would be great to be that rich where you could, I could go to this auction, buy this 2002 BMW, ship it to Siki and LS swap it the next week. Because <laughs> fuck everybody. I might... What I might do with it is like Top Gear style launch it off a pier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just go, that sucks. <laughs> like, it. there's nothing left of it. It's like, okay, <laughs> somebody better get that out. I got it insured, though, so we're fine. <laughs> you could have an EPA. I got the, regu- I got the regular insurance on it. You charge on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hurt. I'll put it on the end of a cannon and shoot it off into the ocean. <laughs> At least drain all the fluids. I drain the fluids. Yeah, yeah, response. Yeah, be a response. we're not. Yeah, we're not trying to ruin response. the environment. I appreciate that. It's not. It's not where I'm at. I'd get. What I would do is I'd pay Richard Rollins to do burnouts at the guy's house, like to do donuts at the guy's house. Get yourself some of that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a giant Dodge throwing, commercial throwing happening. Throwing devil horns out the right, window exactly. the whole time. Bring spotlights and stuff, and then it's like sponsored by Dodge, and they like there's a bunch of Hellcats <laughs> running around in his yard and stuff. That's what I would do. Love it. We need money. This is why I think this is why I don't, this is the universe. Probably, the universe. Why we don't I'm have not money. rich because the universe is like that's not a good idea. <laughs> we don't need that in our lives. <laughs> Nobody needs that abuse. All right, McLaren claims that they are too cool for an SUV. In quotes. Good. Which, which means only one thing. They're making an they're, SUV they're they're next, next, year. next year. They're like, ah, it's too expensive. We'd have to make a whole new chassis. It would look like this. This is what it would look like, though. <laughs> and the chat, we're borrowing the chassis. Uh, and this is, you know, this is how we're going to do it. But it, we're not doing that. No, we if, even, if we did. Clearly, they won't even have to develop a motor because they just use the same one. They so all they have to do motor. is develop a chassis. How hard can that be? They probably figured out a way to use the same monocoque. Lightly modified. Just lift it. Yeah, just lift, lift it. Lift it and somehow extend it. Like nobody's making a two seat SUV, so <laughs> screw you guys. Here it is. <laughs> oh, it's a crossover then. A crossover yeah. sport uh, off road vehicle. It's it's the. Oh, wait, it'd did, be a hyper crossover. Did they mean SUV or did they mean crossover? Ooh, it's a good point. Those are two different he things. Did not, we discussed he, said, last he just said, said SUV. SUV. Yeah, he didn't say anything about so a hatchback. So they're not building a big, like, body-on-frame style vehicle. Which so makes sense. Perfectly reasonable. I'm guessing 2021, you're going to have a McLaren crossover. Rogue. 100%. Sport. Would that be a a super crossover? A, no, it's a... What do they call the... SC Hyper? What do they call the Lamborghini thing? To call the it whatever Urus? they want because they're Italian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Urus. What do we call that? <laughs> Sounds like a like an infection. <laughs> I don't know what they call it. I'll look it up. I think it's I a performance it SUV. More piece of? Piece of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's got a point. If they, I hope if that he if sticks to one, it. Yeah, if they were building one from scratch, it. yeah, it probably would be expensive because you're not going to compete with Porsche or Lam- even Lamborghinis because they all... All part of the super sport group. utility vehicle SSUV. They didn't say they weren't making one of those either. <laughs> so he's, he's right, he didn't because, yeah, yeah he left it open ended and vague for a reason. He's a marketing guy, he, he gets knows. it. Yeah, we'll never ever ever make make one. a pickup truck <laughs> <laughs> with the f- body on frame. Have you seen our mini truck? Yeah. Oh, that would be the greatest day <laughs> ever. Are you kidding me? A McLaren mini truck? Sign me up. That'd be rad. That'd be sick. The market for that is only rich me, who doesn't exist. <laughs> Spencer, Spencer told us one time, many moons ago, that mini truckers, have, they've just, you know, they've moved on to more expensive things. So apparently there is a market they're for McLaren there. mini trucks. Well, we don't know that they're not making one. God, that would be great. Well, we know they're not making an SUV. Could be a crossover. Could be a super sport SUV. I don't think anyone was expecting them to make an SUV, but a crossover? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if they want I, to stick to their racing heritage, I hope super he cars. sticks I'm to sure. his guns and doesn't build anything stupid except cars. Which would be fine. Didn't Sergio Marconi, RIP, say that he would... Ooh, that's a bad... His phrasing <laughs> was poor on this. Didn't he say... We, they'd have to shoot him. Like yeah, He literally no, said... You'd over, have to kill me over, before we make... Electric Ferraris over my dead body. Yeah, he said something next about year we're having a Ferrari. He said over my dead body on the SUV though too. I yeah, think. And that's maybe happening it was like the one SUV. Year or two. And yeah, now that and that is know. in poor taste, Ferrari. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Tinfoil hats. 
Yeah, exactly. There's Ooh, something going that's on there. Yeah. Suspicious, right? He wouldn't quit, but the board wasn't having it. So they killed him. <laughs> that's right. Now they got the rest of these. Dude, he died from shoulder surgery. Come on, and he died out of Come nowhere. On. Man, that is Come he on. was healthy two months ago. Shoulder surgery. Who dies from that? That's sketchy. For that's sure. out there. That's got to be somewhere out there that's in the dark net. Oh yeah, but that's a thing. It's right there at well, the Denver airport. Well, apparently. I know we all kind of thought about it. When he first well, yeah, happened, he's like, like, how do we even approach this? Because it's so fresh. We don't approach it. We just let that lie. We skip that news. Because, yeah, we would be super inappropriate the first day. It's worth that's, it. That's how I deal with hard situations. <laughs> I, I, like funerals. Say things really inappropriate. I, yeah, you can't take me to a funeral because I try to put the fun in it. I really Robbie's do. over there giggling at his phone while they're burying somebody. Yeah. No, if, if there's going to be a really too soon inappropriate joke, it's going to come out of this mouth. 100% chance. Don't take me to a funeral. I'll ruin it for everybody. <laughs> Noted. <Yeah. laughs> at least don't invite Robbie to my funeral. At Can't. least we've been warned. Oh, I'll, I'll give a speech at yours. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I might want to stage my funeral for that. That might be worth it. It'll be the most fun. Well, funeral all we'll do is, uh, is I will pull the hours and hours and hours of you saying inappropriate things on this show into like a 30 minute highlight reel. For your grandparents to enjoy, that's what I'm going to do. That's that's perfect. And then and then at the end, I'll say, and that's the way he wanted to be remembered. <laughs> and I'll just walk off. I would love that it. Be sh- like, Dude, that'd be the greatest. <laughs> what? The- <laughs> that is the best part. Is that like we'll all we'll be dead, but we have these podcast episodes out there. Like we know exactly what type of assholes these guys were. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even search it up in the obituaries. Like no, no, seriously, episode thirty-three. Yeah, no. Fuck yeah. that guy. <laughs> That dude was an asshole. I like, remember when we were talking to Robbie had to take that sexual uh, harassment class. <laughs> what? Karen was asking for it. She was asking no, 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 for no. it. That was, wasn't that the Dan Bilzerian episode? Yeah, yeah. Two sixes, two sixes and a nine. <laughs> you can't the nine die. <laughs> Did I ever tell no, you? but that was, wasn't that the thing, though? Because it wasn't it like. No, because. It was, no, it was it Robbie fat people? Was, Robbie was talking about how he had to, how the whole. Place he worked at had to take all those sexual yeah, harassment no, I get classes, that. Oh, yeah. and I said something about how I would be terrible in those classes. And Robbie's like, "I would hope you'd be a decent enough human being." And then he made some <laughs> like some example, and I was like, "No, dude, she was asking for it." <laughs> <laughs> no. But the the two sixes and a nine thing that was wasn't that in that study though? I think like so. I was obviously making a joke out of it. But wasn't it like somebody like no like they, a fit person and yeah, then like two no, fat yeah, people? Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, exactly okay. what the it fat, was. The fat people can die. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, do you kill the fat people? Do you kill the two fat people or the <laughs> one guy that looks like Dan Blazerian? The hot you, the hot chick. Who's, yeah. who's flouting? I think that was the term. The used flouting. <laughs> I think it said flouting. It, it used flouting. <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought we used no, it. I, oh, I we don't. We there. don't have that kind of vocabulary. No, we we're don't. a bunch of Neanderthals. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a weird deal. That was a fun one though. Yeah, two sixes and a nine. If you haven't listened two to it, go and listen to it. It's like forty three or something. It's so far. Inappropriate back. jokes. I think we need to keep throwing in there. I'm not gonna stop. No, I like that. That's I don't good. even realize when it happens. No, it's, it's always after the fact. It's like, yeah, absolutely. We probably shouldn't. Eh, it's already out there. It's already out there. editing is stupid. It's too much like, work. Like a radio show. They can't shut us down. We don't have that pause button. <laughs> the no, seven the second button. delay. The no, button. We don't have that. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to say anything. We're wrapping we this wrap up. This I think we're going to wrap this up. How we, long is it? It's two hours and ten minutes. 10, Excellent. Thir- 13, somewhere in there. Excellent. I got it. I never. I don't know for sure because we do, th- like, we when I start record. It. When the podcast starts is not when I start recording. Right for people that don't know, so like there might forget. be a minute, there might be ten minutes of us saying things that we definitely can't say <laughs> on iTunes. Imagine, and then imagine getting it out. Getting it out is that what I'm going to put in his highlight reel for his funeral? No, <laughs> we need a fourth sponsor, and they're only going to sponsor one a thing. Fourth? Yeah, we got three. Oh, we got my we bad. Need, we need four. Okay, and they're only going to sponsor like thirty seconds of the show. Okay, and it's going to be the inappropriate joke right before the end. <laughs> Like, this is like a train wreck right at the end. Yeah, it's like Thanks, the, the, the most inappropriate thing we can think of, and then end the show. Just find some a bunch of too soon jokes. Yeah, every week. I'm good at those. That's Robbie's segment. He can own that one. <laughs> he can find his sponsor too. Robbie's closer. Robbie's closer. Uh, hey, yeah, that uh, that's a little too convenient. Is that it? I can do it if Are you, you want. No, you want me to do it? I have one. Let's hold it in for this week. You should hold that ransom <laughs> via money. We've been throwing all these. It's not even a joke. It's just a good story. 
Is it a good story? I'm no, ner- it's I'm inappropriate. It's a- <laughs> I'm like actually nervous. Making me uncomfortable. Uh, I'm going to end the show. I'm going to okay, press well, the yeah. button. All right, we'll catch you guys next week. <laughs>